It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Uh, Doodoo Herman's here. Big Wax. Um, we here, man. You know, we don't have no uh, pre-roll, so we can just get right to it. That How is a y- good point, man, that you just what? made off off uh, pot. What did I say? <laughs> if you do a post on Instagram with your age, <laughs> right? Like, you, you're basically wanting people to go, you look great for your age. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. if you're talking about someone else's age, it doesn't matter. But if yeah. you mention your own age right. on the pod, yeah. you basically ask him for compliments. Well, on the, on the, on the gram. On the yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, on the gram. Let's give it some pod. context. I was, I, yeah. I was saying that, you know, <laughs> Yo, so I'm not going to say what I was saying, but, you know, when you turn a certain age, <laughs> yeah. people like to do the fake candidates. <laughs> You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. To show people that they've been in the gym. Right, but what, but what so if it's like, this is 44. Yeah, yeah. This is and nobody 45. goes, this is 23. No. Nah. No. Yeah, no. what is that? No. But, 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 what, but what if you have a, like a 23 with your body right now? Would you be okay with it? 23 with my, no, probably not. No? Huh? No, I'm not where I want to be. Yeah, real talk, everybody listening right now in their 20s, enjoy your metabolism. Absolutely. Yo. Oh, my like, God. Like, literally soak that shit up. Enjoy your Man. fucking metabolism. And Eat the pasta. Eat the cakes. Chicken, eat the dessert. All eat all that shit because yes. when you get to your late 30s, mm-hmm. it is, bro, I had pasta Watch the other yourself. night. I haven't taken a shit in two days. <laughs> you? With the cheese And I shit three times you, a day. That's, that's yes. Wild for with you. the cheese in it? It was cheese it's all cheese. over it's it, bro. It's the cheese. It's the cheese. Maybe it was the cheese, bro. Yeah, I'm lactose intolerant. I'm yeah. That cheese. Yeah, yeah. cheese got Bind you right up. Yeah. Yes. Nah. Sturdy. And ain't nothing worse than when you like, Got a shit, but it won't come out. Bro, I'm in the it's bathroom cool. sitting there doing a Dougie trying to wriggle oh, out of fucking man. shit, bro. <laughs> Dude, I've got my legs shaking. You ever grab your cheeks and shake your cheeks? <laughs> 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 it's like you shaking something to fall out. You ever did that? <laughs> I find myself doing that shit at work. In between breaks, I'm like, hold on. How much time I got left? I'm like, shit. <laughs> You shake your cheeks, see what the fuck fall out. Yeah, shake gotta, that tree, have, man. Have greens, man. You gotta have greens. And You're right. You gotta go through. They and say, water. They say yeah, water. water, and they say I. I read greens are the spear, like apples. You know what I'm saying? Like greens will cut through your cola. You want that to be the first thing that goes, yeah. and then the other stick just exactly. follows. Yeah. yeah. And, and and the and the beauty of it is too, man. We were, the tip we were of the spear. talking about posting those pictures. The the illest shit is when somebody posts pictures and they're in like super good shape. And then everybody comments on them like, yo, she's 60 something. Yeah. You know, they, they do that to Angela yeah. Bassett a lot. It's she's other, good. It's his other sister. She's like, a, I don't know if she's a trainer or not, but she like super diesel, but she's in her 70s. She don't ever post her age. Mm. People just know how old she is. Uh-huh. She just posts, look, look at me. I'll let y'all do the talk. But, but yeah. like I said, she, if she was 22 doing that, she'd still get the same comments. Yeah, because her body's crazy. Yeah. Her, her, yeah. her body's crazy at any age. Some people's body is just nuts at any age. Great. And to your point, don't just enjoy Yo. your metabolism in the 20s. Enjoy yeah. your 20s. Them yeah. shit is a blur. I don't yeah. remember nothing from the yeah. 20s. Thank God we don't remember nothing. I really don't. Them, that either. shit really is don't. a blur. You have more fun now or then? Now. Yeah, I have more fun now. Remember. Absolutely now. <laughs> yeah, I, Absolutely and again, now. we're dudes, so maybe this is different, but like, you start to get some disposable income. That's right. You start to find mm-hmm. out who you are. You're not you trying to impress other now. people. You're just trying to enjoy yourself. You know how to live. Yeah, dude, it is... It's fire, we trying to bro. figure it out. When we were twenty something, at least for, for me, we were doing what we could with what we had. Now, you know, we're grown and we do what we want. Yeah, with what we <laughs> with, yeah. What, we, with what we've earned. It's yeah. It's like we don't really have to do that many things we don't want to do. That's privilege right there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And we're the parents you, now. Yeah, and when you can go where you want to go, live how you want to live. Set your boundaries the way you want to set your boundaries. Be with who you want to be with. That yeah. shit is a beautiful no, feeling. That's not true. I don't, I can't what do you be mean? I want to be with. What are you talking about? I can't do everything I want to do. Like what? What do you want to do? Certain things I want to do. What, what do you, do you want, want to do? do? Be nice sometimes and not argue. With who? I'm just saying, I'm just, I don't know. Okay, Kanye, you going to bring all your relationship <laughs> problems to the podcast? <laughs> What's no. up, man? No, What's I'm just saying, this? like, certain doing, things. Yo? Why y'all like not, doing this? Do y'all know y'all got to go home to these women? What are you talking about? Who? Sure. I'm just saying, it's like, I can't do everything I want to do. What do you want to do, Wax? I mean, I don't know. She say no sometimes. I got to listen. 
As you should. That's the part so of I can't do everything that I want to do. Yeah, you can. You just have to deal with the repercussions. There's nothing she could stop you physically from doing. Okay, I hear what you're saying. And she probably you know? telling you stop for your own goddamn good. Probably. Truth be told. I just heard a crazy story. I mean, you better be careful. I just heard a crazy story about some some wives who was complaining about their husbands. And they was like, I don't even like to lay next to him. I don't want him to touch me, yada, yada, yada. So it's not like they're trying to get a divorce, but they're not happy. They're just dealing with the situation because I guess it's a convenient situation. Mm. Don't find yourself in that, man. Who's this? I don't want to be there. Who? Who was talking about this? Oh, no, it was just a conversation somebody told me they overheard. Oof, the golden handcuffs, bro. That's trash. What's that? That's that's what marriage is? No, but like... um... That's just kind of like what a job can be. There's plenty of situations where it's like the comfort is there, even though you're not happy. Mm-hmm. Like you can't really leave because you don't want to leave the comfort. Like so many people staying in jobs because they got health care or something. Or yeah. There's so many people staying in marriages because, well, maybe the kids you look out yeah. for. But that's selfless. Low key, like as long as the kids aren't experiencing trauma through your relationship, like if you guys can find a way to make it work almost like as friends and you stay together for the kid because that does really help the kid. That don't work though. Yeah, it's it doesn't work for most people, but yeah. if you do it without hurting a kid, I think that is selfless, That's dude. Great. Like that, I, great. I admire people who do that shit. You're Staying together dumb. just for the kid. Yeah, as long as your relationship isn't so like fucked you don't up hate that, that yeah, person, yeah, yeah, yeah. it, it yeah. traumatizes the kid and like fucks up their expectation of a relationship. Yeah, you got to have an open marriage in that situation. Maybe. No, because that's the only way to keep peace in the house. Maybe. If you're yeah. just li- if you're co-parenting and you're just living together just for the sake of the children. What would y'all be doing? Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? If y'all not sleeping with each other, yeah. if y'all not talking, like, you got to have an open marriage. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And a big uncles, house. Yeah. Uncles yeah. and aunties. A lot of uncles and aunties. But don't bring any by the house. No, don't do that. Let's call them uncle. That. Or call them auntie. No. No, I don't do that. That's confusing. No. What, Taylor? <laughs> Fucking what? I was going to say, I have a friend that her parents are like that. Like, they don't, they're That's not together. Why does it have to be a lie? No, you don't got. They're really my parents. It's a lie. It's just a lie. You don't got. They're really my parents. That's all you gotta ask. When somebody tell what is their name? The Taylors. The Taylors. No. What's the name? Now they're gonna be like. What's the name? The Taylors. My best friend's name is Taylor. I'm dead serious. Oh my god. She's got a variant. Oh my god. I just posted her yesterday. Her birthday was yesterday. Avatar. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. But I was just going to say that her living? parents are like that. They're in Florida now. Okay. Okay. What are their parents like? Um. Well, they were together. For, like, they're like lifelong partners. They don't mess with you. They don't sleep with each other. But, like, they're together. Oh, they got to be Why? together. I think, I don't know. Maybe he, that's his kryptonite, her kryptonite. I don't know. Like, they're just, they grew up together. Like, she going to be upset you're telling her business like, on the podcast no. like that? No. I mean, they no. know. They, like, this but, is public, like, right? I was, I'm not saying well, hi, Taylor, mom, and Taylor, dad. Yeah. Taylor's parents are like, why are they saying hi to us? Oh, uh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's not my parents. Why do you just randomly say it's hi It's really to not us? my parents. I know it's your variant. It's, it's okay. It's That's fine. crazy. So they just got multiple people coming over the house. Is everybody getting smashed? Or um, geez. No. The How Taylor gangbang? Oh, I don't know. Like, maybe in their 60s. Could you call Taylor now? <laughs> yeah, you go. Okay, hold on. This is amazing. <laughs> She's sending the text. So back I need you to say no. your name is Taylor. No, like, you no I'm not. I'm about to call her right, and she's she gonna be so work. mad at me. Like, whatever. Why do people do? If you know your friend's gonna be mad at you, why, you why are you still calling your friend? Okay, so do you want me to call her or not? Yeah, yeah, I do. yeah call her. Yeah, yes, I do. I don't care. We're trying to, you know, we're building content here. I don't <laughs> care. You know what I mean? If you, if you want to do it for the sake of the podcast, yeah. do it for the sake of the Put podcast. Put on a speaker. Put on a speaker. Put on a speaker. She answers. Why would she answer? I she hear she's, work, voice, she's working. I hear Taylor's voice saying, this is fun size T, leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. See, she just told me. She ain't got time for Let me see. Shit. Let me see the name. Her name's Tay. Taylor Oh, wow. Bleep that. Damn. Yeah, you made. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up with white guys in Prada this week, bro? Yo, it's white boy always. Aaron Rodgers had the illest Prada coat Yo, on with wait, the Did he up. really? What? After the game? I told my wife, I said, that Prada shit is ill. And what's crazy, when somebody what? gave me a Prada suitcase, mm. carry-on bag, tie, salute to tie. Ty gave me a Prada carry-on Whoa. bag. Mm. And I used it this weekend for the first time. Didn't even know I had it. I looked out, I was like, yo, is this yours? Mm-hmm. My wife was like, no, motherfucker. Mm. I gave you that for Christmas mm-hmm. a couple mm-hmm. years ago. Mm-hmm. And I was like, holy oh, shit, God. I got to stop wearing the same shit over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Start opening some of these boxes. 
that, that product, product should be looking clean. Yeah, bro, yeah. we're grown. Like, what are we supposed to do? Wear Gap all the time? All right. You got to be high, low with it, baby. Mm. <laughs> Whatever that means. Target. You know what I'm saying? You got to be high, low with it. Yeah. What, what did we see this week that made us say uh, positively brilliant? What a fucking idiot. Shit. Did you see the guy who just walked into the CVS or the Rite Aid or whatever like that and just took all his shit and walked right the fuck out? Security guard didn't even stop him or What's nothing. Wrong with it? You got to pay for things, my friends. That was oh. my move back in the day. Really? What? When I didn't have no money? Stealing? I was a dumbass young teenager? Yeah. You want a 12 pack of Bud Ice, there. a Corona, a Michelob? Walk right in Scotchman convenience store. But how many <laughs> cops they had days. out there? Who cared about You pulled up to the Scotchman, get out. You walk in, you grab a 12-pack, grab Dutch Masters and walk out. Because I never wanted to feel like I was stealing. But what? What? Wait, what? what? So what you doing? You stealing thieving? You hiding the shit and all that. I never wanted to feel mm. like I was stealing. You know oh, but I mean? you just walk out with it eh. on full display. That's it. And they didn't say anything ever. The guy just sat there. What, why are you going to do that for a 12-pack of Bud Ice and some Dutch Masters? I never understand people who run people down after they're stealing something. Yeah. Whatever place you're working for profit. is not dying for you, bro. Yeah. Like, let them go. A lot of them is family businesses. Them the ones that come after you. That's true. Yeah. If it's yeah. if it's your pocket that they're taking something out of, then that's yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah, I worked in Quicksilver once and a dude, yeah, the dude, uh, dude just took some shit and like it beeped on the way out. And I remember my manager was like, go get him, go get him. And I was like, sweetheart, I make eight twenty five. dollars <laughs> I don't get paid to chase motherfuckers. What do you beat me up? I get you a large or a medium. You know what I mean? Okay. I'll get you a fitting room, right. but I'm not chasing motherfuckers down Spring Street. That's right. <laughs> I want to say positively brilliant goes to Big Barty, Cardi B. Mm. Yeah. I have For the salute, lawsuit? I have to salute Cardi B because cool. um, this is a landmark case. Um, I don't think it's being treated as such, mm. but it should change the way YouTubers, uh, podcasters, and just people who do commentary on social media move going forward. I mean, these are some of the things Hopefully that I America. know we have attempted to warn you about here on this podcast. I which, know we have. Which is, which is. Which is. Can you fill the people into the story? Well, the story is um, she sued uh, a YouTuber because the YouTuber. Cardi B sued Cardi B. Tasha K. Because she said that uh, she. Said she had herpes or something like that. So wow, mm. it, it, it was, and I guess Cardi sent her to cease and desist, and you know she didn't abide by the cease and desist. So you know the last few years, you know Cardi Cardi filed a lawsuit, and they've been going at it in court. And um, this week Cardi won the lawsuit, and she got over what three million dollars in damages, I think it was. And she probably spent that on lawyers and all that kind of shit, but she it wasn't about million. that. Not, spent that not on that case. I guess what I'm trying to say is it wasn't about the money. Like, oh, yeah. Cardi's not probably doing time. it. Yeah, it's it's about punishing that person. Like, that hurt Tasha K way more than it hurt Cardi. Mm -hmm. Tasha K got it? Three million dollars? Nah. I, and, I, mean, I don't know. And she got to pay her lawyer fees, too. Yeah. So she got to pay out Cardi, and she got to pay all the money to fight that case for two years. Nah. By the way, it don't matter yeah, if you got it or not. Who you just want to give up million, $3 million dollars yeah. over no. something like that? Like, that's yeah. why we always say free, talking too much. free speech is not free. Mm. There is a price to everything that comes out of your mouth. Yes. I've been doing radio for 24 years. Mm. One of the reasons I like that I came up in a corporation is because when there's a corporation, there's, there's boundaries, right? Mm. And... I've gotten cease and desist before, mm. right? Mm. Sometimes people don't even send me the cease and desist. They just go straight for the lawsuit because mm. they know that Charlemagne, he's attached to, you know, iHeart, and like mm. that's the, that could be a that could be a payday, mm. right? Sometimes they send a cease and desist, cease and desist is to give you the correct information. You know what I mean? So once you get that correct information, if you continue with the false information. Now, now you about to get hit with a lawsuit. And yeah. it's, it's easier for that person to win mm. because you showed it to them in the cease and desist what they're saying wrong. You mm. gave them the facts and they continue to wipe their ass. Mm. Hopefully that slow everybody desist. down, man. But everybody needs to slow down all this, all this lying for clickbait and all that dumb it, shit. Man, it, it makes up. no sense. I don't understand it. I do not understand the, the, the subscribe now crowd. I just don't. What's that this? Heart, man. The subscribe heart now, huge. crowd. <laughs> you know? What's that? The subscribe now. When you on YouTube and you going live, <laughs> you like subscribe now. Donate now. 
You know, I don't I don't understand People on that. YouTube when they say subscribe and like this comment. He called yes. it subscribe. Don't now. Subscribe. <laughs> you don't you don't what do you mean? We do we that. Are, we on YouTube. I, well, I'm, I'm talking about Breakfast the people. Club is on YouTube. Yes. What are you talking about? No doubt. But I'm talking about the people who go live on YouTube yeah. and their living is donate now, donate now, donate now. How do you keep people donating? By staying on long, right? So you're on there for these long periods of time. You don't even give a fuck about what you're talking about as long as you're just as long as you're just oh, you're talking about streaming, streaming? live no the YouTube shit yeah but live streamers are different yeah you can, can only donate can, on the live stream well the live stream crowd yeah <laughs> I don't understand them motherfuckers. you know what radio is it's not a live stream yeah it is well, you're live is it you're just well I ain't on the radio for donations way. is my point because you sell ads. Whatever. Who do you think's asking for the donations? The advertising team. Did you stop making excuses for these motherfuckers? You know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say okay. You're you a hater, bro. Let these young kids get their money. So right. they can't okay. get their money because it's different all than right. you. Listen, get your money all you want, but when when <laughs> don't get your money at the cost of lying. Yeah. Don't exactly get your money at the cost of slander. You can have your opinion. You can have your critique, but as soon as you get on there telling lies for no goddamn reason, you see what happened. You Yo, saw what happened this week. Just have fun, bro. Like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. I mean, I mean, like that person was presenting themselves as news, right? Everybody does that show, and 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 that's a position where you cannot have fun. When you're saying this is the truth, you cannot have fun, right? Because the stakes are so high. But if you are satire, if you're goofy, if you're having fun, like SNL can't get sued for slander because they're literally going, this is satire. Yeah. So they can satirize every song. They can mm -hmm. satirize every story. They can make fun of whoever. They Same thing with okay. the podcast that we do. We're coming out here saying, yo, this is us just goofing around, having fun. This is satire. So we're going to say some wild shit. I don't know what all is protected under that, though. I mean, look, anybody yeah, yeah, can I, sue yeah. anybody. We live in a very litigious society, so you can do it. But... You might not have grounds to do it because you're going into the conversation. Like when we had Alex Jones on, we just put up a whole thing saying, hey, none of this matters. None of this is real. Anything that anybody says here is absolute bullshit. But don't that don't matter. Alex seriously. Jones just got hit. Alex Jones got hit up crazy and lost the lawsuit. Well, that's because he stormed the Capitol, too. I think no, it wasn't that. What was it for? <laughs> Pull up Alex Jones. He lost the lawsuit Alex recently. Stormed the I think he he the was kid. there, I think. The fuck yeah. There? yeah. No, it, not it, that, it, Alex. it was the Sandy Hook thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's a lie. But that because that guy's oh. on the news saying he's news. Who, Alex Jones? Yeah. He's like, this is the truth. I thought he was on YouTube. His, oh, his that's program. Alex Jones. I don't know what shows is trying to say. I'm simply trying to tell y'all no, motherfuckers. Y'all better tell difficult. the truth. You make it too difficult. It, it's very Stop simple. Lying on people. If you're the news, you have an expectation of being the news. Right? Yes. If you're a comedy show, you have an expectation of being a comedy show. SNL does not need to tell the truth because they're saying, hey, we're not the news. We're yeah. we're here to be funny. If you're Nobody saying we're the news the and then you're saying things that are untrue about people, light their ass up. Yeah, I don't I, I get what you're saying, but I'm talking about YouTubers. Let's talk. I, I, I get what you're saying. We're all YouTubers now. Welcome to well, the new generation. Well, guess what? Specifically, if you on YouTube and you are slandering people and you're saying things that you cannot prove. Hmm. Hey, when somebody hits you with that lawsuit. I hope you, you got. I hope movie. you can back up the words that have been coming out of your mouth. Yeah, because that shit is about to change. It the might game not even be a lawsuit. So it time. might be somebody coming and punching your mouth. I'll take that. I'll take that over getting fucking uh, uh, losing three point eight million dollars yeah. yeah. that I yeah. may or may not punch have. Me, Do you me. know what happens when you lose those kind of lawsuits? What Do you know Cardi could garnish those wages for the rest of her life? Sheesh! Any check yeah. that 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 young lady gets could go to Cardi. Unless, yeah, unless she and it probably will. Song. Yeah, if Cardi's as petty as I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. And listen, yeah. I want everybody to do their thing. I know we in a new generation, but there is rules and boundaries for a reason. And I think sometimes these really good personalities, because there are some really good personalities on these platforms, I think that they will never reach their full potential because they didn't come up in a system that has rules and boundaries. It's kind of like yeah. when you watch and one basketball, right? Those guys are great. Mm -hmm. Like you know, they cross you over, do all this other stuff. They get to the league, travel, carry, carry. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. It don't work in a system. Globe trotters. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Sometimes it's good to come up within a system. And but you could also make the argument that now those people on then now and one is more popular than the NBA. Now it's not though. It that not in basketball, mm -hmm. but in terms of content. Like the hours that are watched on YouTube far exceed the hours that are watched on CNN. Like the people that watch Rogan, I think it's like 10x what is watching like, uh, you know, any random CNN show. So 
Now this shit is flipped. Now the NBA, in your metaphor, is not the popping thing. Now and one is what's popping. And Rogan, salute to Rogan. Once again, Rogan is not, Rogan is not your typical podcaster. Rogan came up as a, a, the host of Fear Factor, yep. as the host of a U, the UFC commentator. He oh, understands those somewhere. boundaries, yeah. those rules and regulations, and he rich as fuck. So he's not yeah. going to go in there and just say anything. Yeah. Because I mean, he knows yeah, know somebody better. will hit him up. He had a system before. You so, got to be. Yeah, I'm telling system. you, sometimes it benefits. It's good to be a part of a system because you know. Yeah. Like I saw, I, I saw uh, you know, people think that this is the norm. It's really not the norm. Like, if Wendy Williams said some wild shit back in the day, she would either be fired mm. or she would get hit with a cease and desist mm. or the person would threaten to sue. And when they threaten to sue, if, if you know, I think that's what Diddy did back in the day. He threatened to sue Hot 97. Or maybe he did file the lawsuit. I don't know. But either way, they got rid of Wendy Williams to avoid that problem. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like we act like there's no consequences and repercussions to the things that come out of your mouth. There absolutely is. And oh, yeah. everybody has to deal with them. <laughs> Period. I don't care yeah. what platform you on. No, you're right. There are always consequences. 100%. And, and that's why I say this is a landmark case. Good and bad. And it's going to change how things... It's, it should change how everybody does things moving forward. And yes, use these platforms. Utilize the fuck out of them. But also study the platforms that came before you so you know the mistakes not to make. Because what's going to happen next is the platforms are going to start being held responsible if they're not already being held responsible. I mean, if you're I part think, of the platform. I think, that's why they, I think that's why Instagram be knocking people out. A hundred percent. And page. that's also why YouTube doesn't create its own content anymore. Because YouTube is going, hey, we're just a platform. We're just the internet. What you post on here yeah. is up to you. This mm -hmm. We don't have anything else to do with it. We're just there. We have some loose guidelines. We have enough rules where we can take anybody down if we need to but they're also loose enough where you can kind of just exist here. Yeah. And that's what they're trying to do. Once they were making their own content and like trying to put their own shows out, all of a sudden they were being scrutinized. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not going to make enough money off this. Just let these motherfuckers do it. Yeah, but that ain't going to fly but much longer. And the reason I say that, because even in this case, the videos that she was being sued for were mm -hmm. still up. Right? Yeah. I mean, so at that yeah. point, YouTube should take them down. Right? Well, the, the issue is, is always uh, revenue, right? Once advertisers give pushback, that's when the rules change. Mm -hmm. oh. And that's what happened with uh, when YouTube started cracking down on on um, on videos. I think it was like a couple of years ago. They were running like kids ads on like ISIS beheading videos, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, well. And there was somebody getting beheaded and they were running fucking like Gogurt commercials on it. <laughs> yeah. And like Gogurt hit them up like, yo, don't Baby put our Panthers. ads on this fucking <laughs> beheading. Like, what the hell are you yeah. doing? So all of a sudden, YouTube is like, okay, we got to be very careful because if the advertisers pull their spend, then we're going to lose tons of money on this mm -hmm. shit. So at the end of the day, it comes down to money. And that's how you get someone to stop talking shit. You hit them with $3 million lawsuit and you win. I guarantee them, oh, these other blogs are not going to be talking shit about Cardi. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Set the precedent. <laughs> and by the way, you should Lower even, the boom. It ain't even just about Cardi. You better pay attention because you know what happens? Um, when people see Cardi and she wins, they're, gonna they're go, like, Ooh. oh. Pull up all them, okay. them seats. Okay, let's uh, see. Yeah. Let's see how this goes down now. And, you know, uh, when you were talking about radio earlier, too, it's like it's, it literally is the same thing. Yes, we have advertisers. We have advertisers because we have high ratings. But guess what has never had a – well, guess what has had one sponsor in 12 years? Donkey of the Day. Interesting. The highest rated segment on because the show. Because they don't want to be associated. They're like, I don't know what this motherfucker yeah. going to say. Yeah. Who we going to say it about. Word up. But I've had Michael Lamis off. Salute to the bull. You know what I mean? And that is a <laughs> local <laughs> New York sponsorship on a national a radio show. Michael wow. is willing to say, nope, I'm standing next to this. Wow. And this is our 12th year on Breakfast Club. Don't get it. There's the highest rated segment for 12 years yeah. and running. We've never had a sponsor. Interesting. So advertisers are like, nope. So listen, what's the crowd y'all said? The donate, what is it? The live stream, donate now? Yeah, streaming. <laughs> That's it. The donate now crowd. Salute to y'all. Get your money, but don't get your money at the expense of lies and slander, man. Because it's, it's cause, not just them. It's media too, man. Oh, you listen. see this happens all the time. Like there, There's no such thing as news. That, even when listen, you said, even when you said the word news, I'm like, there's no such thing as news. If you're CNN, MSNBC, Fox, they're yeah. all driven by opinion. If your network is driven by opinion, it's not news. Yeah. And please believe, when something is on CNN, Fox, or MSNBC, the casual viewer 
believes it more. A hundred Because they're like, oh, this is on TV. This must be vetted. Yes. If a blogger or somebody on YouTube says some shit, you'd be like, oh, this could be some opinion piece. This could be, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, gossip, if you will. But if Anderson Cooper is reporting that That's shit, right. if Rachel Maddow is reporting, it That's must right. be it's true. Real. So keep be careful. All these like news articles, all these, uh, what are they called? Even like online magazines and that kind of shit. The more legit you look, the more you yeah. can get hit you over got, the you head when you oh, try to sued. paint somebody. They get oh. sued all the time. And they should. Fox yeah. gets sued. They should. CNN gets sued. You MSNBC said you're the news. Sued. You said you're the truth. Yeah. You walked into the building that day and say, we give people the truth. You better make sure it's true because right. I'm going to hit your ass over the head if you're lying about me. And if you're driven by opinion, mm -hmm. if, 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 if that's what's driving your network, you're not a news network. News mm -hmm. motherfuckers report the news. And keep it moving. Yep. It's mm -hmm. not driven by anything else. It's not which side you on. And yep. that's why I said you can't. Who's really being honest? Because once you pick a side, can you really be honest? No. I don't believe yeah. you can. No, like, you can't you have be to objectively honest. That side. Yeah. 100%. And Bias. that's the thing. Like, I don't even want an opinion show on a channel that says news in it. Don't, don't give me the Fox News opinion show. Don't give me the CNN opinion. That's a different channel. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, you yeah, say yeah, your yeah. news, I should be able to turn your shit on and everything you tell me is what happened. That's it. Even I don't care if, how you feel about it. That's I don't just care what, what your happened. opinion is. Just tell Period. me what happened. Absolutely. Don't give me, Absolutely. and I know that's the opinion clickbait, ones though. are the, like the, the highest rated or whatever, but like, I don't care. They're all opinion ones. Because and that's the problem. What, what happens is whether it's Aaron Burnett or Rachel Maddow or, or you know, uh, Tucker Carlson or whoever, yeah. they say what it is they need to say, and then they bring on a panel. Mm -hmm. And the panel shoots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the panel's not on That's there it. reporting no news. The panel's just on there talking, mm -hmm. giving their opinion. Tucker Carlson is my favorite talking head, though. Oh, this guy don't play, bro. You know why Tucker's, Tucker knows he's fucking with people? He's hilarious. <laughs> and I cannot, I don't understand the why. The M&M shit? You talking about the M&M shit? That shit, the Fire. shit, Nancy Pelosi being Michael Jackson. Son, it was amazing. But he does this yeah. knowing that people are going to get mad. He does this knowing people are going to repost it and be like, this is what y'all call news. He's He's playing. <laughs> why are you even paying that any attention? And you wonder why his ratings are so high. Because <laughs> the people that love him are tuning in yep. and the people that hate him are tuning in. Yep. The people that love him are sharing his content. The people that hate him are sharing his content. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. there's nothing we like better on social That's media right. than a goddamn debate. Mm -hmm. Because somebody will post that Eminem Tucker Carlson clip and say, this is what y'all call news. And then people will be in the comments be like, He's fucking He's joking. joking. Yeah. It's a satire, you idiots. And everybody going back and forth about it. Guess who wins? Tucker fucking Carlson. Yeah. The man who already told y'all in court, I lie sometimes if I'm caught in the corner. <laughs> Does he say that? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> All these motherfuckers bend over once they get in court, right? Every single one. It's court. Yeah. What you going to do? Actually, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Not guilty. You want to lose? <laughs> <laughs> It's cool. Amazing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Don't get anything. You it's better court. get out of there. No one's there in that motherfucker. Court. Just uh, my, the moral of the story is uh, freedom of speech is not free. Hell There's no. a price to every word mm -hmm. that comes out of your mouth. And it could Facts. be your teeth, too. Did you see? <laughs> too. That ain't going to scare nobody no more, man. Shit. Beating them up? Nah. nah. Teeth? They not scared of that no more. Crazy. They not scared of that no more, why? They not. Why, why? Because they're seeing less. They're gonna say they're gonna still say they out. beat you. Whoever gets to their phone first won the fight. Okay. Ooh. Right. Whoever gets to their phone nah, first. You're right. Look at like, we talked about this a little bit last <laughs> week, and we had we had an Ali Chopper on the show this week. Yeah. And Ali Chopper got into it with the dude in the airport, and Ali Chopper hits the dude. The yeah. Dude doesn't hit him. Dude gets on his phone. Like and him, him and this girl are talking about how they knocked and the girl's like, he just knocked out NLE Chopper. I mean, it looked like <laughs> it looked like he got dropped, but you could he see flipped, it's a slip. Flipped, but so. it looked from the video like he got dropped. But the point is we reality, whether regardless of what that's my point, Hang regardless of what it looked like. So all it's about who gets to your phone first. Yeah. Because once they get on the phone and say they beat wax ass and pinched his butt when he hit the ground. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> I said well, they see a little bit more with me. You want to see a little bit more with me. And you're yeah, not of course. Just, you're not going to just hear wax got beat up and just go and agree with it. You're That's a tricky happen. thing, though, as like a rapper. Like, especially, I don't know, like how I'm really not that familiar with his music. I, there was a song I fucking love. What was that shit back in the day? I used to come out on stage to it. Which one? Don't. Oh, uh, fuck. Don't. <laughs> Uh, pop, that coochie, yeah. No, no, no. Fuck. Anyway, I remember what it is back in the day. But, um, but that's the thing. It's like if you make your music or you tie your identity into being like 
tough and gangster. Mm-hmm. Like all it is is just one dude that rolls up on you, <laughs> sleeps your ass, and you are done, <laughs> done, <laughs> bro. That's crazy, <laughs> bro. Yeah, <laughs> like the pressure. Like you better roll with security just so you don't get slapped. There. You can't go nowhere and get beat up, bro. You yeah. gotta win every fight. Anything. Every fight, bro. And anytime anybody comes in your face, golly, man. It's that's like crazy. that with anything, though. When people realize you're not who you say you are, that's it. But the pressure of being someone you're not all the time. No, nah, that's too that's much. That's why bro. you need to be who you are. That's yes. Your I don't understand why people even want to fight. Yeah. Like, leave it alone. Live life. Go You're do your lose music. anyway. Yeah. Rap. When, like, yeah. like, there's, like, it's not like back in the day where you used to get stripes for being gangster. Mm. Nobody cares no more. Everybody's mm. like, man, why you not home with your kids? Yeah. Nah, you don't <laughs> care no more. In the hood, they care. Yeah. It's a lifestyle, bro. Why do you give a fuck about what the people in the hood think? That's no, my no, point. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm just saying. That, You're telling them that, but they do care. Because they don't have nothing else. That's, That's what we're trying to say. Everything have its fucking lane. <laughs> and you in the hood, it's really important to be a guy over there who can handle everything. If not, you fool. Yeah. Yeah, it is so true. So do not, y'all better stay dangerous you out fooled, there, motherfuckers. You, but it's, it's you, a function of no opportunity, right? It's a function of no That's opportunity. And you fooled until you shoot somebody and go to jail. It ain't for the about rest of your shooting life. them. It's just having respect. Like you stupid as hell. Like, like, you want respect. You want respect. You can still be in the hood and get to have respect. Nobody fuck with you. You ain't got to be the tough guy. Why are all those things tied to respect, though? That's, that's what I've always wondered. Like, why is it always the criminal street shit that's tied to respect? It's not that. It's just certain people, even that guy who might even do the bad, probably take care of most of the people in the hood. You know what you said just now is why so many of these rappers can't let it go and why they still end up in trouble in, in bullshit situations because they, they feel like that criminal street shit is what gets them respect in certain environments amongst certain people. They and did. they're tied to that still. Even when they done, you up $10, $15 million because you had a skill set that allowed you to go make this kind of money. If they don't respect that, and the only way to garner their respect is to be sitting in the hood with them still beating up on people. Nah, nah, man, nah, you better get nah, me. Nah, man, nah. come on, man. Nah. You got to know when to hold them. Know when, <laughs> know to, when fold to fold them. them. Know when to walk away. Know yeah. when to fucking run. But even, Who is that? Who does that? Neil Young? Kenny Rogers, yeah. bro. Don't Kenny Rogers? Don't disrespect like that, bro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I hate to disrespect Kenny Rogers, bro. My bad, bro. Shout out to Jamaica. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you know that Kenny Rogers is huge in Jamaica, right? He is? He's yeah, yeah. dude. He did like these two massive concerts out there and shit. Jamaica's fuck with Yo, country he got, music. He, he got so many cabs. It's Kenny Roger cabs. In Jamaica? Hell they yeah. fuck with him. Hey, dude, Jamaica's love country because they understand white soul, bro. It's great storytelling. Bro, no, that's country, all it's it is. great storytelling. No, it is. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Dude, country music, country music and rap have the best storytelling. Mm, to me, I think Interesting. So. Country music and rap have, the, have, the, have absolutely mm. the best storytelling. Mm. Can, can we talk about the greatest white man of all oh time? Oh, gosh. Who? Tom Brady? <sighs> Yo, he lost it. He lost what? <laughs> his, no, the, his fucking safety lost it. That's what lost it. He lost Got it. burnt he lost on two what? straight he plays. He didn't lose shit. He won. He basically, he did everything he's supposed Tom to Brady do. Tom Brady did what the fuck he was supposed to do. And then his safety got <laughs> burnt twice, out. bro. Yes. You gotta come out with it. What do you mean? Come out, gotta come out with the win. What would you have said if he had won the game? You can't blame I the safety? I would the same thing I'm saying now. That motherfucker is the greatest of all time. You know why? Because I'm looking at the totality of his career. Mm. Oh, yeah. I mean, what the whole about? thing is, yeah, but right now he lost. But, nah, you, but listen, if everything right it, now, how many people like, I told you he suck. I told you he suck. Yeah, yeah, nobody's going to say that. that. There's, nobody, always, there's nobody with common sense can say that. Nah. Come on, bro. It's always... <laughs> I did, but it's, I'm not saying he... I didn't you didn't see the game. You didn't see the game. I know you didn't nah. see it. People always say, what can you do for me the last time you did it for me? If you did bad the last time... Do you know you what he did? Now. I don't think he knows I don't he think did. you know what he did. I don't think you know what he did. Talking about. Motherfucker tied the game. game with like 40 seconds you left. I think he's good, but he still lost. You didn't see the game. That's like that's like beating somebody up all game, all fight, and then you get knocked out. You didn't see the game. He got knocked out. Because he wasn't beating the guy up all fight. He was getting ass kicked all fight. I hear what you're saying, but if it's still what I'm saying... Even though if you is beating somebody ass the whole fight and they knock you out, you lost. I don't know. He what still the lost. Fuck is he <laughs> I don't know. He's he saying, don't bro. have a point. He How? only gets to play half the game, brother. Defense got to do something. I just, that's true. <laughs> but still, at the end of the day, he still lost. Right now, will you still give him the same praise that he won and lost? Yes, why? yes. I'll tell you why. Remember, we uh, did we watch Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight, right? Mm-hmm. What do you say at the end of that fight? The got, second one. Deontay got, third uh, one. got a lot of heart. Mm-hmm. That's right. You like fuck boy, that you, heart. You got your ass beat the fuck up. Yeah, but, but guess what? Nah, no, that's a bad he, example. He bro. dropped Tyson twice. Yeah, that's, not good. <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. The third fight. <laughs> it's not a good example because Tom, Tom Brady, because Tom Brady tied the fucking game and then literally has it ready to go into overtime, where you know Tom Brady is about to handle business. Yes, yes, yes. and then that Dangerous. safety got bummed out, burnt, burnt two plays in a row. Burnt. Same guy. 
Cooper Cup cooking his ass. Yeah. Two plays in a row. Yeah. Sad, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen, but I don't. Once again, Tom did his job. Yeah. And we were all sitting there when, when Skip Bayless put that tweet out at the end of the first quarter. Congratulations, Rams. You're going to play a home game uh, next week and for the Super Bowl. Game over. It was 17 to 3. And then <laughs> he's I'm a like, dangerous guy. I'm like, do you know who's still on that field? Mm. Yes. That's goddamn Tom Brady, the greatest white man alive. Yeah, this guy don't play no man, fucking come games, on, man. bro. Come on, man. He don't play no and, fucking games. And if games. he retires, if he retires. He should. I don't think he should. I don't think he should. Yeah, he got PTE out. He, he got one more year left on his contract. If if Tom Brady has one more skilled player on that offensive field with him, yeah. they win. Only yeah. thing that beat Tampa Bay Buccaneers was injuries. Nah, yeah. but what if, what if old boy that's has stayed? That's part of the game. That is part it's of part the game. It's part of the game. Yeah, but yeah. what if old boy has stayed? You think they would have won it? Yes. Antonio yes. Brown? Yes. Yes. Because yes. they at least scored. They that's at least, why I say by you the way, paid him. By the way, they at least scored seven more points. Also, Tampa Bay missed the field goal in the first half. So mm -hmm. if they hit that field goal in the game first over. half, the game is over. over. All they got, yeah. they, 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 they'll win the game. Tom Brady should come back for another year. Bring back, you know, I don't Antonio know how, the they say the salary cap for the Bucks is fucked up, so I don't know how that's going to work. But if you can bring back the right players, I just think he deserves a farewell tour. That's all. That's what I really want for Tom Brady. I hear you on that, and I think that that would be good and it would kind of be like the Kobe thing where, yes. like, every single game meant something. Yes. We're saying goodbye to the greatest player ever. Um, that being said, I don't want to see him go out a little bit. I don't want to see him go out in a decline, and this season, he had a phenomenal season. Yeah. He leaves at the end of the yeah. season. He didn't even fuck up the game when you think about it. No. He was clutch as hell. Tom Brady did exactly what he was supposed to do. So he can't even be upset at himself, really. I mean, he could have played better in the first half, of course. Mm -hmm. Could have won the game in the first half. That you was undeniable. Like he always do. That that being said, when it was time for him to deliver in the clutch, the last <laughs> time he touched a football, he made sure that his but team scored with That's nothing, with absolutely nothing. Yeah, I think though. Godwin wasn't playing. Fournette had just came back from mm -hmm. injury. I think Mike Evans was still injured. Mike Evans a bit. Had, was still injured. Like Mike yeah. Evans got hurt. I think what week eighteen. Who so that he, Brown? See, we can't look at Brown, please. You don't look at Brown, please. That was the first game of the season. I don't know. That Tom Brady different. If Tom Brady, if yeah. Tom Brady don't make you want to get your life together, something wrong. Son, this, this trash talk that apparently he said this got me fucking giddy. Apparently, there's a uh, some dude in the defense was talking that shit. And uh, Brady, this is what Leonard Fournette said. The the one of the cool trash talk things Tom Brady goes. So he looks at him. He goes. Uh, he goes. He goes, I played with your daddy. Ask him about me. Ooh! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> right! Right, though! Right, though! <laughs> right! <laughs> that is, that's right up there when I used to fuck your mom in high school, yes. little boy. Respect you me. You watch your mouth. <laughs> if I tell you something that you don't want to hear. Yes! <laughs> Yo, ask him about I me. To, I went to mom with, I went to high school with your mom. Ask him about me. Yeah, uh, I used to play with your daddy. Ask me ask about me. That's why I said if Tom Brady don't make you want to get your life together, that man is 44. I know, bro. I he's 45. No, he'd be 45 this year. Oh, okay. So one more season would be 45. 45. He's 40 fucking four and he's playing football. Yeah. Say what y'all want to say. Greatest athlete of all time. I love Michael Jordan. I got him above Michael Jordan. I saw them having a debate on first take oh, this so week about it's so hard, bro. Is it? The, okay. Was it's he like, playing with was he playing when Jordan was playing? I think so. <laughs> at least I don't know. They must have crossed. They, they must have crossed. To. I think they had to, right? I mean, Tom Brady's been at least playing when Jordan for 20 was on the years. Wizards. 20, 22 years, 23 years. And how long Michael wasn't playing for? Think about it. Mike played when he was 40. Yeah. So Mike ain't 80. Uh, 60. I think the Wizards. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Tom Brady. <laughs> they had to have crossed over at least to. with the Wizards. They had to have crossed no, over. No, if he's 44 and he stopped that, he was playing at 40. Nah, nah, nah. Tom Brady rookie year was 2000. And when when last time Mike played? Mike, I think 90. No, the Wizards was, I think the Wizards was the two. Let me see. Yeah, let's look that up. Let's Michael up. Jordan, okay. Wizards. Was it 2002, 2003? Yep. Dang. So for two years. Damn. For two years? Come on, man. Tom Brady. Okay, so the athlete question is always the tricky thing because I think we, we in our mind, imagine an athlete can run fast and jump high. Yes. Mm -hmm. And clearly that's not something no. that Tom Brady can do. No, we're not worried But if that. we look at an athlete just as the best person at a sport, mm -hmm. you could say that Tom Brady is better at football than anybody else has been at their sports. I want to push back on something you said. Yeah. 
t- it's it, it, it's very athletic to have to go out there, say hut. Like you're working all your muscles. You you know, you're grabbing the football, you're running yeah. back, you're scrambling, you're throwing the ball. You're still an athlete. You may not be running and jumping higher than everybody, but Tom Brady's an athlete. Yeah, there's the no athlete, question. But well, he's not the best athlete, we're saying. He's, I, not, he's not better than Antonio Brown. Most it, durable. Yeah, you could make it. It's not even yeah. close. Yeah, I, I think like most durable, like he's got a great arm. He's a great decision maker and all these things are huge. And like game IQ is crazy. Like, you know, we always talk about LeBron's game IQ and we'll talk about, I'm sure, Jordan's game IQ, like Dennis Rodman's game IQ. We always talk mm-hmm. about these things. So it's huge. I, I think if we remove the word athlete and we're just like greatest at a sport ever, like for me, it's Floyd. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's just, but I'm like a lost. huge Floyd fan. He's never lost at all. Yes. That being said, it's what he's done. If somebody said to me, I think that this is the, the greatest person at a sport ever. I can't say, I can't say that they're being ridiculous. What about greatest sports figure? You could, and look, Hulk the problem Hogan. with sports figures is that we start uh, bringing in like um, uh, social justice and stuff into it. Even though it's not part of the conversation, you got to think about Ali. I only got three. Go. It's Brady, Jordan, and Ali. It, isn't that interesting? We going, we not even, I, what I, about I Hulk told, Hogan? He was huge. Oh <laughs> I said this earlier. We're not calling, we're, I told you this earlier this week. We're not Jackie call, Robinson, you got to bring in like. We not call, those are goats. Right. And we're not calling Brady, Ali, and Jordan livestock anymore. All right. <laughs> These guys are gods, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, what they did is yeah. different. And I always yeah. look at the degree of difficulty. Yeah. There's no, in, in sports, there's no greater degree of difficulty to meet in football. That's another thing that you have to account for. It's like, there's nobody, there are people who've had multiple rings. Yes. Right? In the NBA. There are people who are part of great teams and they just happen to be part of great teams multiple times, like Robert Ory. Yep. Right? And they have multiple rings. I don't think there's anybody in the NFL. Maybe who was the closest? Was it five rings? Five. Uh, it was the guy uh, he played for Charles San Francisco. Haley. Charles, Charles Haley, Haley had and then five. the Cowboys. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's it. Charles but, Haley got five. So to your point, it's so two things. It's so difficult to get multiple rings for two reasons. One, the teams flip all the time. It's hard to have a dynasty. Two, mm-hmm. your body don't hold up, bro. If you're in the league for six years. And that's when you can actually play the best of your ability. Ten years in NFL is a fucking eternity. Listen to what yeah, you just said. Go, go. Four years. Actually. Ten years in the NFL is an eternity. Tom Brady's been to ten Super Bowls. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> like, yeah. like, it's unbelievable. He's been to ten. You, what you said is absolutely true. Ten years in the NFL is an eternity. But this guy's been to ten. But he barely Super getting Bowls. hit though. He's barely getting hit. Oh that's, come on, that's, that's, that's not true. But, that's not but, true. But, that's not that's true. Good. That's what I'm saying. That, yeah. That's not that's true though. True. That's not true. He had great lines and stuff like that's that. That's not true. There's no way he could have been a true. running back. That's not true, Charlotte. There's no way he could have been a running back. No, he, is what I'm a, saying. True. On the line, he gets hit all the time. No, no. Meaning, I think what he's saying, like the position that he played, allows him to play longer. No, nobody else could be 20 years. Do no other not, position could be twenty years. That's uh, I mean, I, yes, true. You could like, be a punter. You could like be a field goal kicker. Punter, you, but not, not. I know no skill position is what no they say. Way. Right? You're yeah. running. You know how much quarterbacks get hit? I think we think of sacks, but I'm talking about just hit after the ball's thrown. Yeah. That happens all the time. I think what happens with these guys that as they get older, they learn how they one are so good at predicting the defenses, and they learn how to get rid of the ball before they're in those tough situations. Uh-huh. And if they are getting hit, it's because they're really waiting for someone to open up that they believe will be there. Yes. Right? Whereas, like, these young quarterbacks, you see them getting blasted all the time. They just can't read the defenses as quickly. Yeah. And they don't understand the value. The timing is off. The, one, the time's off. But they don't understand the value of just getting rid of the ball. Like, live to throw oh, another oh, fucking Sunday down. Sunday Brady like, was getting his ass kicked. They, look, Best playoffs, That baby. front four, the Rams, Von Miller, Son, and that, goddamn. That shit is uh, Ar- Vic- Darnold or whatever. Sam, Donald. Sam Donald. Donald. Oh, no, what's man. the other one for the Rams? The beast. Yeah. Yeah, Donald. Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. Aaron. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been a Aaron, for years. Do- yeah, yeah. They yeah. was all over him. The he's, whole a, game. he's a beast, that dude. He's dude. different. I bet you if Tom Brady had the athleticism of, let's say, like a Lamar Jackson, right? If he had that just level of athleticism but didn't change his game that much at all, Retarded. we would go, oh, yeah, this is the greatest athlete of all time. Very. But it's because he's so slow. I don't even think it's a white thing. If it's he's just so slow, dude. I think his feet big. He wears size twenty two. I think he's what? the greatest athlete yeah. of all time. Ain't no twenty two. Don't believe bro. him. Get out of here. I think he's the greatest <laughs> athlete of all time, bro. He's been in the the NFL for how long? Twenty. 
22 years some shit. Huge. I don't fucking I'm not going to give you pushback, bro. I'm not going to give you pushback. I'm not gonna give you pushback. And playing, and, and here's the thing: playing at a high level. Yeah, man. And still winning now. That's like, that's, that's like being in a marriage and never cheat for 22 years. <laughs> I'm saying that's in any relationship. That's a relationship. He's still with these people. That's amazing. I don't even know what you're talking about, bro. Like, you know how much easier it is to not cheat for 22 years than win seven Super Bowls, bro? Are you serious? Yes. Try it. 22 years. I don't want to hear shit. I what? intend on it. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear shit. And afterwards, I can be like, this is the greatest husband ever, bro. This is the greatest husband of all time. You like, he did the thing he was supposed to do for 22 years. How do you do it? it? The vows he made in front of God. Yeah. Listen, um, and when I say degree of difficulty, look at even with Jordan. That's why it's very hard for me to say who the face of this era is. Because Jordan dominated his era really and erased did. the faces of people of his era. But more importantly, after he three-peated, think about the emotional and mental stress he was going through after his pops died. Mm. To come back and perform at an even higher level, mm. at an older age, and do what you just did, mm. degree of difficulty. Mm. Muhammad Ali, you get everything stripped from you, you're out of boxing for three years, Facing jail time, people calling you a communist, all this kind of stuff. You're unpatriotic. You come back and you win the championship. Mm. When you look at what these people are not able to deal with in this era mm -hmm. and look at what those people dealt with, degree of difficulty. Those guys are gods, man. Mm. They just are. They just Muhammad they Ali, no Michael Jordan, then. Tom Brady. They ain't have too many crutches. They got so many crutches right now to make them soft. Back then, they had to do it. They had no choice. It was all mental. I, and I think that's what gave me a... Muhammad Ali, Tom Brady. That's the Mount Rushmore of athletes. And He's Michael like, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, those three. Those three. Are there any, is there anybody else that enters that? Not to me. <sighs> Not to me. Come on. Not to me. I'm trying to think if there's another... Not what's another sport that we might be forgetting about? Wrestling. Well, well we... we, we we might be <laughs> You know why I don't <laughs> count swimming? Had a dog. I don't count I'm swimming because not enough people have access to a pool to even know if they're good at it. So, like, when you look at the best swimmer right now, you're just looking at the best person who is, like, wealthy enough to have a pool in their backyard. Yeah, and able to just about back yeah. same shit with golf, oh real talk. God. Like, you think Tiger's the best at golf or is he just the best person who was rich enough to have access to a golf course? Yeah, or a club. What? Which and clubs. You're like, oh, this is expensive. Like, <laughs> these sports are expensive. What's what? your problem? Taylor knows nothing about it. I just put out Taylor a just sport. Taylor just be wanting to sound different. Yeah. All I said yeah. was Baseball. put out a sport. She skipped That's soccer. Wrestling. Boxing. Because also, I was like about, women. I was, no, because I was thinking poor about. Poor people uh, are better at sports it. because they need to excel at them because that's their way that's out their way of poverty. No, but I was thinking about mm -hmm. what's that guy's Dude, name? Dude, the first oh, yeah. poor people to play tennis end up being the greatest tennis players ever. The fucking Williams sisters. Yeah. Those poor? They were not I mean, they were in Compton. Not broke, but like. Yeah. Like, they they weren't. They weren't. They weren't I don't rich, think they were wealthy. Rich. I don't remember. I don't think they were wealthy. I was thinking about the guy, though. What was the swimming guy? Oh, if he was so great, you would know his name yeah. right on the top of your head. You Phelps. tell us. Michael Phelps. Oh, thank yeah. you. Michael yeah. Phelps. The people made a big deal about he him. He smoked That's weed. All I oh, because he was the Olympics. Oh, look, he's the, he's the most winningest yeah, swimmer, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. But for me, like... And an Olympian. I think he got more gold medals than yeah, anybody. Yeah, than I think anybody. But also, that's another thing that's unfair. It's like, how many different strokes are you going to make up for swimming? It's like, what if we did that with running? <laughs> hey, you have to run with your arms straight. Hey, you have to run with your arms in the air. Hey, you have to run with your arms out to the side. And you get a gold medal for each one of those? That's Simone stupid. Biles. That is got to ride. It's Oops. so stupid. Simone Biles. No, Simone's not. I she love makes Simone. up her own... No. no. I love Simone. No. Really? We, you, come on. You See, gymnastics oh, man, is the we... same thing. You got to be rich to be in gymnastics. Yeah. No, you don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. How, how, go get gymnastics lessons and all that shit. That shit is not fucking that cheap. That's but not, you gotta go yo, do that soccer, for any practice. Real talk, what do you soccer. Mean? If and outside of America, because we don't we don't really play it. But outside soccer, outside of this world, soccer has Ronaldo's the, a goat. Son, goat though. Ronaldo. But he, he's, he's a, god a god to some people. No, he is to some people. I was talking to Jay Shetty this morning, mm -hmm. and Jay Shetty was like, "I didn't grow up pretty with football. motherfucker." Any. Hey, bro. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> motherfucker. Ain't supposed to be in a boy band. Yo, son. Scooter. <laughs> you, know, you know Scooter. Scooter keeps posting him, right? And I'm just like, post that motherfucker one more time. I might get his number, bro. Jake Shetty look like he's... Pretty ass he, eyes. He look like he should be a, the leader of a boy band called The Healers. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Like, he yeah. is like... He yes, is, he is, bro. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now he's got these... What is he, Indian or some shit? What about Usain Bolt? That's Michael. Well, Muhammad, I think the Usain, Usain Bolt is an interesting Usain argument. Usain interesting. Jim Brown, LeBron, Michael Phelps. No. 
different levels, Dwayne man. Brady. Jordan, I, Ali, Brady, so different levels, that. bro. So we got to throw a soccer player on there, bro. You got to throw a tennis player. Nah, because tennis is another one, bro. It's like, like it's rich fuck. people shit. It would probably be Ronaldo for me. Exactly. I don't, I don't know enough about soccer if it's Ronaldo or Messi trying, trying or whatever. like Taylor just got him on <laughs> Just trying to throw something out there nobody has yet. That's all. I cannot believe <laughs> Hawkins. I'm giving y'all options. Damn. I'm, I'm trying to think what is... Yeah, Kobe soccer. Bryant's up there too. No. Nah. What? Go, we got to put a soccer player up God there. God bless yeah. Kobe. R.I.P. Uh, today, today is the two-year anniversary of Kobe's death, by the well, way. Kobe right there. You ain't even know that. Huh? Who? Pele. We don't know. I don't know who that is. Yeah, I know he's a soccer that. player. He's a soccer player, right? Yeah, he's a soccer player. Keep going. I ain't never about, seen okay, Pele, bro. Floyd Mayweather, no? Floyd he should be Floyd, up there. But I, I, not with Ali and Jordan and I Brady. I put Floyd. I put Floyd. With put Ali, Floyd. Jordan, and, Jordan, and Brady? Now, I just think in terms of perfection, he's he's perfect, man. He's, he's literally gone. a perfect specimen. I Jack. think there's GOAT. Oh, uh, Mike next. Tyson? Of course. That's what I'm saying. Hulk Hogan have to be up here. I don't know who it would be from baseball. Maybe Barry Bonds, <laughs> Ken Griffey. Here's nah. the thing. I, I gave Donkey the day this morning to the uh, Baseball oh, fam. Writers Association. You know what I mean? Bums. What bums? Because what they, they're they wow. excluding an era that I always I always say baseball was better when everybody was on steroids. Baseball yeah. needs steroids. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Baseball needs steroids. It really steroids. does. 100%. And by the way, Barry I was Bonds. just saying that just off the eye test. I did some research this morning. Mm. And by research, I mean Googled. Mm. And there was this goddamn top 15 list mm. of uh, why baseball was better during the steroid era. Mm. A, uh, a, attention was up, meaning that more people was on the sport than ever. Yeah. Viewership, uh -huh. revenue. Mm. They were saying shit like uh, you don't get the, 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 what was it? I don't know what year it was. The home run race between Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire yeah. They was talking about the 40-40. How Jose Canseco got a 40-40 and 88, but then during the steroid era, it was like A-Rod and Barry Bonds. Yep. And all yeah. these, uh, somebody else got a 40-40. It was like so many, the pitching was better because people had to learn how to pitch better because, because everybody was yeah, hitting home runs. Knock them shit out, out the fucking yeah. park. You make them mistakes on the field. Yeah. I was like, shit. So it wasn't just the home runs. Damn near every aspect of baseball was better. Interesting. When everybody was on all, the All them guys still alive, the steroids guys. Pretty much. And to Wax point, all the motherfuckers look like wrestlers, bro. Yeah, they were just fucking jacked. Jacked. Yeah. <laughs> you they know were what I'm saying? Fucking jacked. That shit was man. like the WWE with baseball back. Do we yo. throw a baseball player in there? Barry Bonds. <sighs> not with Jordan Ali and Brady, man. You gotta do Hulk. You cannot tell me no Hulk Hogan was not the, that was like who's the one guy. Who's the one baseball player that was like transformative? Like they were so good. It's more than transformative, those shows. Who in baseball has done something you've never seen before? What Brady has done, we'll never see before. It's like a pitcher or something like that. Like, uh, who is so What dominant? Jordan did, we'll never see again. 6 0 in NBA Finals. Hank Aaron. Yep, the second guy. I knew it. Hmm. No. Yep. Why not? Tell me why. You can't say why. <laughs> he <guy>. never lost. <laughs> Man, you, <laughs> you and Taylor, boy. <laughs> no. Hank Aaron never lost. <laughs> Taylor's the <laughs> end in Bully and the Beast. It's, it's, like, it's Jordan, <laughs> like, like, Hollywood. Like, Jesus, like, come on, man. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> and he can say that and somebody will run with it. It'll yeah, be somebody yeah, else yeah. arguing later yeah, yeah. and somebody will be Sucky like, Brady's the best. Like, well, Hank Aaron never lost. <laughs> Yo. He's like, what? <laughs> Yeah, I don't. No, you don't even got that many sports when you think about it. Like, what? What's another sport that we care about? Hockey, you can't count. Rugby. Man. I mean, some people might throw Gretzky in there. I don't see it. So what? Ooh. Roy Gretzky. They might throw Mario I Lemieux can't in count there. A I don't sport see it. If they don't, if there's nobody but white people in it, like I need everybody in it so we truly know who's the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't talk about no sport I never seen. Mm. You never seen hockey? Never. You never I mean, played a video game? Yeah. No. Why would I do yeah. that? Yeah. Keep so going. Low key, that's why soccer outside of the United oh, yeah, States of America, soccer. which produces the best athletes on the planet. But if we were into soccer the same way the rest of the world is, that's how you would define the greatest athlete. The one sport the whole world yeah. gets to play and the cheapest sport. Literally, all you need is a fucking ball <laughs> and an area that you just call a goal. There's nobody that can't afford to at least touch a soccer ball once in their life. No, you're right. The, if we cared about it. Now, the fact that we have the best athletes in the world and we don't care about it means that there are subpar athletes playing the sport. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, we are the best. We're the best athletes <laughs> on the planet. 
Explain to me why. You don't like it? Look at the Olympics. Mm. Motherfuckers rolling their eyes right now in England. Suck dicks. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? Bro? Come on, yo. Come on, yo. Don't not play with not, us. Not a dick plural. Yeah, multiple, <laughs> son. Multiple. <laughs> Explain to me yeah. why soccer's not big in America. Culturally, I don't know why we just never. We love money. It's just bigger other yeah. places, but it's big here. It's cool. Is it? No, not, not that. It, 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 it is just growing so, in popularity. It's just so much crazy other places. Yeah. I guess it is a multi-billion it. dollar sport. Exactly. The players yeah. get paid crazy. So much money. Like, y'all yeah. out here trying to track baseball football too. players, man. You baseball better go too. It's unbelievable. Yeah, Real we, talk. We created fact. baseball, basketball, and football. Ah, that's why. What happened? We created baseball, basketball, and football. Okay. So, so that's why we have so many other sports for people to get into. Yeah. All those other countries. Cricket. And we're going to promote our own sports, and that's the way that you kind of like... uh. In, uh, what is it called? Uh, like there's an emotional colonization of the world, mm. you know, like in the same way that we use like our tech and stuff. Like we want everybody on Instagram, everybody on Facebook. That's why the TikTok thing was a big deal because it was a social media platform we didn't create. Mm. So it's like, oh shit, we don't want some other country's tech influencing us. Cause, cause apparently like in China, the way that the algorithm works, it doesn't reward people doing stupid dances and like playing with their dog. The algorithm is rewarding things that they want to see their youth do. So people doing cool engineering shit, oh, so people funny. doing cool oh. science shit. Oh. But if you're China and you wanted to disrupt another country, oh wow, wouldn't you reward the dumbest possible shit yeah. on that app? Twerking. Twerking, people doing stupid dances. You want the next level of youth to go, I can be famous doing something that's truly worthless to society, yeah. oh. which is making TikToks, not beneficial to society like being an engineer, being yeah. a doctor. Right. So this is how you get to manipulate your society into doing something good and how you fuck over your competition right. into doing worthless shit. It's it's genius. Salute to China. I mean, yeah. I is, that why Trump that. Get, is that why Trump wanted yeah. to get rid of TikTok? Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. I'm not mad at now, that. Now, don't get me wrong. We're doing That's the same a different shit. level of warfare. I'm that, I, that, I fuck with that. Because back in the day, you used to be like, yo, we'll send some opium over there. And, you know, you know, they're making all the fence and all that kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, but yeah. this is how you fight wars. Now that we have enough uh, military weapons so everybody can kill each other. We need to find other ways to fight wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need yeah, to fight yeah. these cold wars. Yeah. And yeah. They, they, they doing it, bro. And they, and, and, and they know Fucking that we're dumb. Yep, they know we're dumb enough to kill ourselves. You know what? We're going to have them fucking things on our eyes when this whole shit fuck up. Mm, I don't not. think nobody going to have them, them things off their eyes. Bro, I just played it the other You're talking day. about the Oculus. It's shit. unbelievable. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so, it's so unbelievable, bro. It's crazy. You can see no. your hands and everything. I'm telling you, it's stupid. I know. I've done it. Then what the fuck? You don't like it? No, I, it's okay. I listen. I did. You know what else is good like that? The uh, Avatar ride at Disney World. You ever did the Avatar? <laughs> he ride does at that Disney shit, buddy. Like you, be so excited about something, they just look at you like an idiot, bro. That <laughs> shit. I don't, that I, shit. I, I don't <laughs> like it. What do you mean? <laughs> Why are you so happy? I saw my hands. I saw, I saw my, hands. my hands. Why are you so happy about that? That's I couldn't believe it. That's what he's excited about. Hey, bro, look. Ready? You're not looking at him right now. No, I was just saying that you should. You could see him on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, yeah, we knew what, what you meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unbelievable. But you played Creed? <laughs> no, I was I was in I was in space and I was I did a boxing. That's Creed. Yeah. Okay. I don't yeah, know. I did Creed. Nah, Creed. He, when you're Michael B. Jordan. Out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I saw the video of him out. playing. Like he's punching, punching. I'm beat the if shit. Anybody's out of around that dude. him, he's knocking motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be careful. So, Dumb as hell. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be <laughs> careful. <laughs> bro, that's, like, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's all part of the marketing, right? You what know that you they mean? sat down, they're like, okay, give this to Black Uncle, so they're gonna go absolutely <laughs> crazy. Because <laughs> <laughs> the Black Uncle is not getting knocked oh, out in front of his family. No and they just way. Start swinging, but, bro. But the crazy part about it, that motherfucker big is a motherfucker. Oh yeah, yeah. yo, it's a little. Hey, hey, when you first put it on, that dude starts approaching you. That shit a little scary, bro. A little. You know why you play? You know why I don't like? You know why I don't like that shit? I don't want to fuck up my fight or flight instinct. I feel like that's what that shit does. Cause you put that shit on, and your body thinks you in real motherfucking danger. And it's like, nah, I don't want that. Yeah, I really don't want to know. I was on point. And I was on point. That's it. I don't mind doing that. Just be letting cortisol go off in your body just because that shit is a warning. Like I tell my dog bark, them shits go off. So then, oh well. But that's when it's supposed to. The dog bark all day. But you're saying that it would numb your senses. I believe so. In real life. You should be nervous when a threat is presented. And this is teaching you not to be nervous when a threat is presented. That's exactly what it does. Oh, shit. We should get cops to do it then. Desensitize in these incredibly sensitive situations. Ooh. Yeah. Cops put them on their eyes. Because that's what it does, right? Yo, what if they put it on and it just made everybody white? 
Like they had to wear it all day. <laughs> and no matter who they saw, it was like a white guy with a Just comb over. You put that's the it. Yeah, yeah, that, Everybody is no, the that's same smart race. shorts and his no, freezer. Exactly. That's smart as shit. Yes. <laughs> that's smart as shit. Because when you're on you're these rides, people right? people like, damn, these white motherfuckers fast. That's I didn't right. run it so good. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Avatar ride at Disney, it's, it's l- literally you flying on the dragon. So you can feel the dragon breathing. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, it's, yeah. It's yeah, ill. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're in that world. You're in whatever but that world is. Why do you want to come back here? Yes. Which is oh, my yeah. thing, right? It's like when, you, when you're on a roller coaster, you know you're on a roller coaster. You're yeah. trapped. You're yeah. stuck. Yeah. When you're on this, mm-hmm. when you're dipping, all you got to do is think to yourself, it's just a ride. It's just a ride. It's just a ride. It's just a ride. Yeah, just a ride. Yeah. Yeah. Let I don't want to feel like that in life, in real life. What are you talking mm-hmm. about? You know, people in relationships thinking their relationship is going. Yeah, but what about when it's really danger? I don't want my mind saying, oh, you're in danger. Oh, no. No, it's not. It's just yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. No, fuck that. You like your senses being in tune. That's oh, right. Bro, yeah. so why why do people train? They train for these type of situations so they can put them in there so that when it comes to them, they can handle it better. That shit don't work. I mean, it's I'm not going to say it don't work, but everybody got a plan. But what about sparring? But what about sparring? You got to learn. You, you really got to do your breathing exercises. You really got to train your mind. And one little mistake gets you knocked the fuck out. I Yo, bet. boxing is like meditation. I but that's still sparring. When you're in that ring. When you, when you sparring against this motherfucker right here, what do you, why are you worrying about this virtual shit? That motherfucker about to hit you. Sparring is the exact same thing. You, whatever's going off need to be going off is that many but times. But that's different, though, because you're actually in a ring and you actually do need to protect yourself physically. Yeah, well, right now it's training you to look at this motherfucker and not be scared of the next big uh, motherfucker. I don't know, because all I got to do is take the glasses off and shit get too real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I did that shit. And Cowboy, that motherfucker was on me. And my daughter was like, man, fuck that. <laughs> 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 I took them glasses off because he was on me. And then when he drops you, you got to press the buttons off. Yeah, you got to be yeah, off. Yeah. Now everybody know because you got to do this. I'm That's like, what oh, I'm saying. Yeah. Why don't you got knocked out? Wax? <laughs> so Wax got knocked out. You got dropped, son? <laughs> that got dropped because you know what? Because <laughs> what? I ain't going to lie. One time I got hit up. He just got it. I was pissed the fuck off. That's why you seen the second tech- video. Yeah. You see me you out there beating the shit out. Let me see this video. Have you ever looked around? Look around with them glasses on. Oh, it's amazing. Send it to me. Every detail. You can look up at the ceiling. They got the rafters uh, oh, and dude. everything signs. It's you can look at your feet. Bro, you you, can, you can open up your boxes and they'll show you Michael B. Jordan's dick. What you doing? <laughs> what <the fuck? laughs> bro. Y'all didn't know that? Why are you looking? Everybody yeah, out there that got the, what's the shit called? The Ocul- Ocu- Oculus. Ocumom glasses. Oculus. Everybody that got the Oculus glasses, when you put them shit on, y'all ain't, because when you look down, you're going to see your feet. Whatever you're wearing, just do like this and tell me what you see. Them motherfuckers got every detail. Down it to does, a sign. They don't do that. Try it. Is it veiny? And record a video. <laughs> it's on. It's flaccid. And record a video oh, wow. and send it to me. Not not to me, but yeah, post it nah, on social nah, media. Send it to Charlotte. I guarantee you, y'all ain't you never did that. Shit. Why you did it? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to see. I wanted to see if they really paid attention to every detail. I did. I I looked at my hands. I looked at my feet. I could see my abs. I looked around. I looked behind me. You can see the crowd. I'm like, oh shit! Like they really paid attention to every detail. They like that. I just, I just pull, I'm like, oh shit! You <laughs> wow. can see your, you, you got on red, white, and blue boxer shorts. Pull them out. You can see right his junk. Wow! You got a jock strap. You on. see the. Pr- <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's a jock strap though. It's not his. Oh. It's a jock strap. <laughs> That's wild. Do, Y'all didn't know that? No. Oh. I, I never even thought to look at my meat. Yeah. <laughs> well, I gave Bro, you something to do. You want to do something crazy on that? <laughs> what? There's a um. Oh my god. No, this is isn't this is that wild. There's a uh, a guy named Alex Honnold that that does this climbing thing where he free solos, meaning he like climbs these like huge rocks mm-hmm. without any uh, cords or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And you can you can basically go with him on the climb, but when you turn, you're on the rock yeah. looking down thousands of feet, Mm-mm. bro. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm terrified of heights. Mm-mm. It Amazing. is unbelievable. You know what'd be crazy if I could put them shits on and I could be next to a rat. I probably would throw them shits off. Exactly. It's that, it's that level of saying. fear. Do you That's know New York saying. City got 2, two million, million rats? Two million rats. I know. 25, know. 25% of the human population is, is rat. rats. Is rat. Dude. New York got 2 Look at his face. million, <laughs> million rats. rats, bro. Why? What do you mean, why? They looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> they they heard you, you talking rats. shit, bro. That's right. You know, how, you know how long people in rap songs and shit been talking about rats? You seen that video? It's not just me. Rat. Yeah. Nobody likes rats. <laughs> Nobody Yo, likes there rats. There was a rat. It, it was a rat as big as that dog that was in here earlier today. Nope. Yeah. In <laughs> New York. <laughs> nope. nope. That nah, shit was so some, big, bro. Nope. It, got, it got some real monsters out here. Son, I was, I was eating with uh, Neil Brennan a few weeks ago. 
This Neil, rap, what up, Neil? This shout yeah. to Neil. This this rat was so big, it ran, bumped into the chair, and the chair moved. Like usually, rats they scurry, they can run up and that kind of shit. But it it bumped into the chair, and the chair moved. Y'all seen? Is that not crazy? Body. Why? <laughs> what? Hit my chair. <laughs> <laughs> hit my chair. Oh, no, he died. Why? 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 Yo, I'll just say two million Who rats. Who wants to see me run, though? That's two million stupid. rats is fucking crazy. Two million oh, rats. Oh, this is not <laughs> playing with me. Yo, um, why are y'all playing with me? <laughs> <laughs> Two million rat bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> you had the fake rat. Yeah, I can see no more. You went. Broke my yeah, studio, I'm like, what the bro. fuck <laughs> is you doing here? I was mad at John. Like, Alex, <laughs> what the fuck y'all got going? Y'all leaving food around? You got to figure out something to do with the rats, man. Two million rats. That's is a lot. lot. And they're going to keep multiplying. How many cats yep. is it? That's what it is. What? Maybe they're bigger than the cats now. We need cats, man. Well, we're the kittens. What? Let them shit out of fucking shelters. Okay, let's pay some bills. Okay, uh, Blue Chew. Salute to Blue Chew, man. This year, it's time to get off the couch and get back into the bedroom. Okay, Blue Chew can help. Guys, we know that confidence can take you far in life. And when you feel confident, you're at your best, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at Bluetooth.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA. Let's go. And prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. So if you can Ooh. benefit from some extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code IDIOTS to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Also, man, Talkspace. Talkspace, Talkspace, Talkspace. I will never, ever, 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 ever stop telling my peoples to go to therapy, man. Therapy is good for you. In times like these, having someone you trust and love to talk to is more important than ever. But even the best relationships can hit a few bumps in the road. All right, we've all been there. You feel unheard. Uh, you keep having the same arguments over and over or just not knowing how to move forward. Uh, I'll give you a self-care tip. Don't waste your time arguing with people who are committed to misunderstanding you. They're not hearing you anyway, all right? And they're going to misconstrue everything you say just because. Talkspace gives you unlimited access to a licensed therapist, though, and that person will listen to you. So you can clear up the confusion and focus on what matters most, being the best person and partner you can be. Your struggles and challenges are unique. It's time to talk to someone who understands that whether you've been married for years, you're re-entering the dating scene, or you're just trying to get comfortable with being single, talking to a therapist can help. Talkspace even offers couples therapy so you can work on your relationship with your partner at your side. And it's 2022, y'all. Just kissing makeup isn't going to cut it no more. All right? You can't get into an argument and then have makeup sex and think everything's going to be good. All right? With Synchron, this word is about to fuck me up. You got this. With asynchronous messaging... What is that? I don't know. But I, I don't know. That. All I'm going to say is this. Talkspace has options for live video sessions. You can talk on a schedule that works for you. No need to wait for an appointment. Plus, Talkspace's encryption and added security features keep your conversation fully protected. Join Talkspace today and start the journey to happier, healthier relationships. Just visit Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month when you use promo code IDIOTS at sign up. That's $100 off at Talkspace.com. Promo code IDIOTS. Let's get back to the show. Do we have church announcements? Yo, uh, the infamous tour. California. Mm. We're coming. I'll be in Sacramento this uh, Saturday. I mean, we got like a couple tickets left for that. Go get that immediately. And then we'll be in um, Palm Springs, California. Dope. Okay? Make sure you come out. Check that. Uh, those shows going to be crazy. Um, announcement about the Canada shows coming up as we lock in with that and their lockdown up there. So 
Might have to move some of those shows, but uh, where you at touring wise? You got to be top five touring comedians right now, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Ticket sales wise, yeah. ticket sales wise, it's it's tricky, man. Like it depends, you know, if a guy like Chris Rock is on is not on tour, mm-hmm. you know, then and like is Chappelle actively on tour? Is he not? Like, how do you kind of count those? It's not a lot of people doing the venues you're doing yeah, shows. No, it's up. it's it's uh, a lot of people do small. comedy clubs. You're doing theaters right now yeah it's, it's been not crazy. too many it's it's been really fucking crazy i can't crazy. think of who who uh, i would think i mean i don't know who's on tour but i would rogan think, of course he's doing arenas yeah. uh Chappelle's doing arenas obviously yeah. um uh, joe see. coy joe coy doing arenas uh, russell, uh peters russell peters you yeah. got uh uh tom segura burt kreischer cat williams uh, yeah, 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 cat, you know yeah. the '85 South guys uh-huh. are doing crazy is big that venues. Stand up though, they do a little different show, but they are all stand. Especially Carlos Miller is like a stand up, stand up, stand up, and then they do this awesome show where they're all like riffing yeah. and like doing stuff in the moment. It's great. Shakespeare, but um, but yeah, dude, it's it's really I don't know, it's not it's not that many, and it's something I'm super fucking proud of. No, you kill it, you kill it. Thank you guys for you know all the brilliant idiots for coming out and supporting mm-hmm. always and. It's just crazy to go back to these markets and like see people who were there when I did the smallest comedy club in the city and then do some crazy theater and then like the same people the come out. Like, great. Yeah, that's far. That is so far. I earned it, bro. Everything Thank you, man. Earned, not given. Word. Feels better that way. What about you, Wax? What's going on? Yeah, also in LA. I mean, I'm all your local dispensaries. I got the Who's Wax Herbies. Go out there and grab that and go to whoswax.com. You have your, um, you got a subscription, man. You go ahead and get your gummies. Um, you know, we got the live show February 5th at Caveat in New York City, man. Make sure y'all pull up or just get your, go get your tickets, man. We ain't got that many left. Um, just go to Do Eventbrite. You got enough? You want to tell who's coming? Um, it's up to you, T. Daddy. Go ahead and take it away. Who we got coming? We have Yamanika. Yamanika. Oh, what's up? I love Yamanika. Yamanika Sanders. Um, Yamanika is so conversation. fucking funny. I got yelled at the whole time. Yamanika don't bullshit. <laughs> she ain't playing with She ain't with your shit either. <laughs> she wasn't. Oh, whatever you got, I guarantee you she ain't with 95% of your shit. Man, I told her I left out of Applebee's with this girl left the bill, and she was on my heels. Really? I got, that's the only time I felt bad about t- telling that story. I thought it was funny. <laughs> she, was. she wasn't. She playing. wasn't playing. Yo, I love Yamanika, um, man. We came up. Who together. else we got? Who else we, we got? We got Trav Q. If y'all are in Who's New York, Trav Q? he does those um, videos where he'll go up to someone and just be like, "So I heard it's um, very recently in the holidays. He'd be like, it's a uh, Christmas season or something like that." And then he'll just try to get people in shock, whatever. I'm Break sorry. it down for me, show. Who is Trav Q? I don't you know. Ready? I got you. Yo, Talk to me. This is you. Ready? I got you. Ready? This is it. Uh, yo, let me get um fourteen bottles of Hennessy, yeah, seventeen yeah, bottles, yeah, 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 thirty-seven yeah, bottles yeah, 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 of Cheetos, yeah, yeah. and put yeah. it on his tag. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't just do that, I'm about the other ones he, he, he had. He did that to My everybody. Yeah. He did that to Drake, didn't he? Did it to Drake. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. he's and, coming and, through. And he's like, Who, whose man is this? Okay, Yo, so who's the trap cue? He's this, coming oh, this, yeah. this is the other one he does. My God. This is what, he goes up to the girls. He goes, he goes, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about. Can I get you something to drink? And they're like, yeah, sure. He goes, I don't get paid till Friday. Yeah, and, then and he just walks away. God, it's funny. All right, so he's coming through. And then we How did you describe him again? Shut up, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. You are promoting a lot. Live podcast, it First of matters. All, excuse me. He should be promoting it. Oh, why are you talking? Yeah, he, just talking doing, he just doing it. To You're telling me. me? Did you give me the people? You no. knew. The, first of all, stop it because we fucking recorded this week. So okay, stop. I understand that, but so now, Q, so we now we up. also have a special guest coming. Talk to I'm us. Come on, guest. girl. I thought, we, I thought those were the special guests. No, no, no. We, we have a more, actual, a bunch of uh, real special man. guest. That so crazy. <laughs> Taylor said, "No, we have an actual special guest. <laughs> no, you just shit it on Yamanika. No, she didn't. You just shit it on yeah, Trap Oh my god. You gotta stop you got this. Some amazing guests. Go ahead. We have amazing guests. I'm saying we have a special guest for Wax. It's his ex. I was just saying, it's his ex. You're going to get somebody killed. She don't understand it. You got to stop she playing. Actually, that's on the show. That ain't funny. She's a famous ex. She's a famous ex. Don't do and that. And you'll see. Don't do that shit. Why? Don't do that shit. Why? You are out of your goddamn You're out of your mind. Your goddamn <laughs> mind. It's unbelievable. Out of your mind, little John boy. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you doing? Why I'm like do that? baffled that you would even do that. Like, it's gonna be great, y'all. I'm telling you, Stay you ain't gonna have no baby hairs when Carla get finished with you. <laughs> you think it's the game. <laughs> You know who I'm talking about. You think it's I don't I don't Me care either. who you're talking about. You shouldn't do that. 
I'm if not doing that. If your shit and present it like that, wax is X. Call I it is like, boy, call I it is at the house right now. Like, you know what? I already old shell ass cutting. <laughs> I'm going to wait until what this happened? live show. I want to see how much she she think I'm pussy. All right. All right. Well, listen, man. All what else right. I got? <laughs> Podcast wars out there, man. Just record it. Who's whatever you do. Off. Whatever you, what I always tell y'all, I'm listening. I'm just here to give you some advice. Yeah. And Taylor, okay. I know you can't run fast. Like, you're going to get your ass kicked. <laughs> She's catching you and beating that fucking ass. Why do y'all not think I got on face before? Say again? Anyway. <laughs> she was much younger than Taylor. First of all, let's be <laughs> very clear, too. Let's be very young. clear, too. Carla's not going to have a problem. Well, but listen, man. Have you Carla's not going to have a problem. Why would I have to run and buy her? I'm not in a relationship with her. That's wax. She got a point. <laughs> like, what would I... That is true. <laughs> that is true. That is the point. That is the point. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you no, but I'll I tell you why. Well, it's two things. No, I got it. I'll, I'll bring her back. You should have ran about wax first. You should have said wax. Wax is like cool. So what do you mean? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, I don't know what no. she's talking about. Oh, oh shit. no. I don't you know. You want your ex at the live show? Me? Yo, you don't play dumb as good as you used to. Bro. Yeah, you, bro. you better cut that shit out. Yo, this is true. You don't play. You ain't. Yes, you can't say I don't know nothing when she just told me. I don't niggas. know nothing. All right. I heard it. Well, if y'all Wax got an ex coming. Listen. Yo. Y'all keep playing. You got your ex coming to the live Carla, show, what you need dude? me to do, Carla? Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> Carla, Listen, Carla, bro. What you need me to do? She got the wrong let's address. The plan. She got the wrong address. Who? The girl got the wrong address. No. Nope. No, she, we say the address every show. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Flyers for it. It's very easy Everyone to get the address. Everyone get your tickets to Caveat Bro, Theater. Bro, this is going to be a fucking disaster. A disaster. Uh, y'all this love embarrassing y'all women on these podcasts. I, yeah. listen, I'm not embarrassing mine at all. We already know exactly what time exactly. it is. Exactly. Colin knows Somebody's coming, and y'all just need to be there to go, make sure y'all get your tickets. And I'll go to Who's Wax Airsoft, and whoever want to fight, fight there. <laughs> no, don't fight at the show, please. That's no, horrible. at the airsoft spot. Oh. It's horrible. Um, just go to theblackeffect.com. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to all the podcasts on the Black Effect Podcast Network. Uh, we're not asking for no donations. Just not <laughs> donate now. <laughs> just subscribe. Um, and make sure you go grab Anita Kopak, Shallow Waters, Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency. And make sure you scream the God's honest truth on uh, Paramount Plus. Right. Okay, it's available on Paramount Plus Are you <laughs> right now. Are going to give out more hats? Um, we had got to wait for more hats to come in. Taylor, Taylor, we had a bunch of hats, the Black Effect hats in the, um, in the back. So uh, I put it up on Taylor's, I put it up on my Instagram and told people if you want a hat, um, hit up Taylor. And I'd be forgetting people fuck with us. <laughs> yeah, yes, thank you for that. Yeah, so we wow, had what to, happened? I had to send out a bunch of hats. Yeah, people hit, <laughs> people hit my DMs like, yo, tell them good looking. I'm like, you tell them. He got a DM. I ain't seen nobody post one yet. I saw one yes, person post no, one for real. Yeah. Send me that so I can repost. They, should, they, they added you. Me. They added you. You just go I don't look at your on, other so, ones. Yeah, I don't be on it like that. What do I, but, I don't, but you know what? I don't, I don't check my DMs. Do I got to check my DMs? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. This get up in that DMs, bro. <laughs> bro, do mine. Pull them to me. Um, <laughs> let's get into some shit you won't care about next week. What we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, Kristen Cinema finally getting backlash from the Democratic Party. Who's Kristen Cinema? She is a senator in Arizona um, who votes against everything that Democrats do. She what you would call a Dino, oh. a Democrat in name only. You know uh, what I mean? So she's uh, she's she's with Joe Manson, so they vote against everything. So she's um They're probably doing a nasty together. <laughs> no, I don't think they're doing that. What does she look like? She actually looks like quirky. But I like it though. I mean, because simply because one thing about the motherfucking Republican Party, bro, they are state property. It's get down and fucking lay down. All right? You're either rolling with the team or you're not. Sure. And so they're oh. finally acting at least like, at least in Arizona. Then why do you think she's she's hating on, on Biden, bro? Um, Is Biden maybe, trying to do things to help I, us? Yeah. Like Damn, voting she, rights. Yeah. <laughs> so if she's blocking that, she's mean. Y'all yeah. got to stop hoping politicians <laughs> are going to help you, bro. That's not happening, buddy. I'm with you. Yeah. We, people help themselves and politicians get on board, but it's never going to start with politicians. Never. Ever in the history of the world will ever start with a politician. Politicians will do our bidding because they want to get reelected or elected for the first time, but they will never come with some fire shit that's going to help our lives or change our lives. And doing your bidding is subjective. They'll tell you what they go. They'll tell you they'll do everything to change your world, mm. yeah. and then get in the White House and don't do it. Mm. Well, hold on. What are you guessing about the mandate getting pushed back? Which mandate? 
the mask mandate. Ah, they, that shit's gone what in New York. Mandate? What happened? So you don't have to have you see mask? that? The- nah, I think they struck it down. That's not what happened. What happened? Joe Biden and them withdrew the mandates that they were trying to put on a. Uh, vaccines for large businesses. Oh, but, no, I'm talking about the but, New York but, but State. But it got withdrawn after the Supreme Court blocked it. So it's like... So you don't have to have the card no more? That's like, that's like you didn't break up with me. I broke up with you. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't get fired. I quit. Uh, <laughs> after you got fired. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So, so do you need We've to have your vaccine that card that shit, anymore? Bro. I have no idea. I don't know anything about this shit. This no shit more. is out of control. Do I wish I could get, get unvaccinated, bro. Really? Yeah. Badly. You feeling it, right? No, I don't feel bad about it at all, but no. it was just so dumb. I think you peed that shit out already. Yeah. I think I did too. I don't think really? that's I'm not even vaxxed no more, dude. I don't think that's <laughs> No, you're really that. not, though. I'm not. I don't think that's I'm not one of them like vaccinated me. losers, bro. I don't think it was about nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't think it was about nothing. Say I really what? don't. Uh, I don't think it helped or hurt. Yeah. You spilled water. I could be wrong. I mean, you know, I got it and I did catch COVID at the end of the year and, you know, I had mild <laughs> symptoms. But y'all also told me that Omicron wasn't the big boy. So exactly. Like, so why why isn't yeah. it stopping the thing that's easier to handle? I don't know. This shit is just so dumb. And they just won't admit that they don't know what the fuck they're doing. And that's all they had to piss me off, yo. I don't know is the easiest thing to say, I'm fucking mad. I don't know is the easiest thing to say. Sometimes it's just easy to be like, I don't know. And by the way, if they would have said that to the American people, we'd have been a lot farther along. We all in this I don't know boat together. Uh, you know I told I mean? them to adopt my shit. You say what? I got. I, I don't know nothing. I've been saying that for years. That's all the fuck they got to say. What else do we have up here, man? If it ain't no good shit you'll care about next week, we can go. Nick Cannon, this, this is wild. Nick Cannon is against sex toys because he views them as competition. Nah, he crazy as hell. And Nick a was lot talking of guys about. I think like that, though. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. And Nick is worried about the wrong things when it comes to. The wrong about. things, brother. Nick, you know what your women want? Nannies. All right. Babysitters. <laughs> 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 they nah, need nah, more nah. assistance in that area. King. I think he already got those. those they need more. Did. All right, you can know King. That's what they need more of. All right, yeah. they don't need the sex toys. Um, I'd rather just buying the sex toys than the fucking nannies. Antonio Brown yeah. says defamation suit may be coming against Bucks. Also says he doesn't need mental help. This was this was interesting to me, and the reason it was interesting is because um, I don't understand why we're assuming Antonio Brown doesn't have a therapist. I don't know why we're assuming Antonio Brown doesn't have a psychiatrist. I'm also, I also understand why we're assuming that just because Antonio Brown made a choice that has anything to do with his mental health mm-hmm. or, 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 or how he's feeling mentally. Mm-hmm. He made a choice. Mm-hmm. He made a decision. He decided to walk off the football field. He's done interviews. He sounds very clear on his position. <laughs> and just yeah. because we don't understand his position or understand why he did what he did, we're all just running to the mental health aspect of yeah. it. I haven't seen him do anything that makes me be like, oh, yeah, he needs to, you know, be committed or anything like that. We all need mental health assistance, right? We all need to invest in our mental health in different ways. I, You know, I'm a big proponent of therapy. Yeah. You know, I love meditation. I, I, I love anything that got to do with healing. So I would recommend that for anyone. But just because he made a choice doesn't mean he's crazy. And I'm putting crazy in air quotes. Yeah. I don't understand why we rush to that. He works to that with everything, though, bro. You know how many times people say, I'm crazy? What do you mean? Wow. Like, you tell me I'm crazy all the time. No, I don't tell you you're crazy. I tell you that you have a lot of unhealed trauma that you need to unpack. But I don't think that would be done with therapy. Therapy can be a start. Yeah. It's a lot of therapy. I mean, it's not just therapy, but therapy can be a start. You like therapy. You've been going no, to therapy. Yeah, I know, but they told you, they've been telling me a bunch of wild shit. I ain't go ever since the dude told me to look at my bottom of my feet. What was the reason for that again? Just to do something different that I never did before, and I was like, He's like, what do you do? I said, I don't look at, I don't see like my back. I never seen my back before and I never seen the bottom of my feet. What's wrong with that? He's basically telling you, you get a new perspective of yourself. And I did. Yeah. You know how, you know how, you know how, you know how when you looked at them, your hands and that fucking Oculus shit, you was like, oh shit. That's actually how you should marvel about yourself all the time. As opposed to marveling about what you see. I really don't pay attention to it world. at all. I really That's don't. the problem. We what don't... are the bottom of your feet like? Shows. <laughs> 
Nah, it's just like my hands. Look just like this. Show us. Show us, bro. The bottom of my feet. I'm not showing you my toes. <laughs> yo, just show us, dog. <laughs> toes. It yo, goes with it. Just show us yo, the keep the toes covered, That's like, bro. yo, let me see your balls. I'm nah, you call, keep the <laughs> toes covered with the sock and just show us the bottom of the feet, bro. Like, <laughs> why are you so freaky? Yeah, no, dog. Like, no, why are you making it sexual? Is that the same thing? Why are you no, making it sexual not. for no not. reason, bro? Let me see show your us the feet, bottom but not your toes. You show your therapist the bottom of your feet, but not your I didn't show him. I didn't show him my feet. I ain't show him. Go like this with your feet, bro. Take your fucking, take your shoe off and then take <laughs> your sock down off. to this and let's just look at the bottom of your feet. It's like, like seeing my butt without my dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's like just holding your butt. <laughs> not like mooning somebody. That's not mooning somebody. <laughs> what is going on right now? Yo, Charlamagne, ask an idiot immediately. <laughs> let's, just, let's do ask an idiot immediately. Come on, like, That's not mooning somebody. You never moon yeah, somebody on the butt. Go to an ad, you have more. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I need to ask you a question. Are you carrying a credit card balance month after month? Well, let me tell you, you are not the only one. High interest rates make it hard to pay off your debt, but Upstart can help. Join the thousands of happy borrowers who made that final payment. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment, okay? Unlike other lenders, Upstart looks at more than just your credit score, like your income and employment history. This means they can offer smarter rates with trusted partners. With a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans between one and $50,000. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash idiots. That's upstart.com slash idiots. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know that we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash idiots. Now let's get back to the show. Hey, man, Joe Biden's traveling to New York City. Welcome Next to New week York City. To discuss gun violence with New York City Mayor Eric Adams. Hey, y'all. Yo, Eric get, Adams, the GOAT. Bro. Get ready for the 94 crime bill oh, all over again. Yeah. You think? <laughs> what? Just man, not. listen, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden is a notorious, tough on crime president. Eric Adams already implemented plain clothes. Cops back yesterday. You're going back, you're going to see Stop and Frisk back in New York. Violence is up in every major city in America. Joe Biden's approval rating is down with the Negroes. So he's like, man, fuck that. I'm about to go fuck with the mainstream white folks. Damn folk. right. And we're going to bring back this tough on crime. And white penalty. people love security. We're going to implement this new crime bill and not call it a crime bill. And it's going to be on and popping, baby. And who's going to help him do it? Officer Kamala? Yeah. It's all, it's, it's, it's all going to be tough on crime. You might as well get used to it. Don't even... You know, so I'm gonna be getting pulled over again. Absolutely, gonna be checking my dreads. Eric Adams said it's going to be different with the plain clothes cops, but I just don't see how it can be different if you've never fixed any of the you know problems we've been dealing with historically. Like you, uh, you haven't fixed profiling, you haven't fixed you know uh, racial bias. So it's like <laughs> the only way it's gonna work is if you if if somebody's policing the police. Mm -hmm. So when these plain clothes yeah. officers do ATF. violate somebody's civil rights. You know, they get held accountable. Journal Affairs, where you at? Baby? I doubt that's going to happen. <sighs> so hold on to your butts. <laughs> bro. All right. Yeah, we're just going to the metaverse, bro. <laughs> that's all it's about to be. I'm not going, going outside. Metaverse. I that's can't go it. outside, bro. Yeah, I'm scared it. right now. So imagine me fucking going riding without being scared. All right, let's do uh, some asking idiots. <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> what did you just say? I don't know why you. <laughs> oh, no. I, I actually listened no, to the whole for sentence. Real, no. Imagine like, not being scared, why though. Why do you listen? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, I actually, because usually I tap out around like third word in the sentence. But, <laughs> but this one I went all the way through and I was just as confused as usual. Once I hear like, oh, like oh, dick. Huh? Like, okay, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so you like, don't understand what I'm saying? I'm saying imagine wax being like scared. Wax is like for everything. Wax it really is, the, is. Wax is the Bible. He wants us to interpret him. Yes, <laughs> you know what I mean? mean? He doesn't communicate clearly, but then wants us to interpret what yeah. he says. So if anybody should understood that, you should have understood that. I said, imagine not being scared. I mean, I'm scared all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Me neither, bro. Yeah. When the cops pulling us over, they about to be a... What were you just now saying? You just said it? <laughs> I don't remember. You're like, you like, listen to yourself. I don't remember what I said. Me neither. I kept moving, I bro. just know I said something and then you said something that didn't make no sense to me, so I was. Just, yeah. I moved on I to the next thing. I not being scared. All right. Being I'm scared, scared of the cops. Okay. <laughs> he's, he started it. 
<laughs> what what I do? I'm just listening. <laughs> That's all I'm going on to. Welcome to New York City. That's how you know he got 15 brothers. He started. Wait, 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 Ew. And scared the devil his mom. Uh-huh. He's starting it. Uh-huh. Well, give me some ass idiots, please. What do we have? Wow. This motherfucker judging you, Andrew. Hold on, scroll up. This is he's judging <laughs> got you. Yeah. Gada Ada says, Andrew, you're almost 40. Why don't you have a tattoo yet? Because he's almost 40. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I'm gonna start now. <laughs> what would you get though if you I'm yeah. not getting a tattoo? You wanna man. get your wife's name? Well, not even right here on your finger? Maybe. I don't know. That'd be the only thing you could do. You get something on your neck and start wilding. Yeah. Get some sleeves. Yeah, that, nah, that's yeah. a little goofy, yeah, that'd be, right? That'd be your meat what, working. Joint? No, to get like a big ass sleeve, sleeve and all that kind of... Also, that'd... I'm too OCD to have a tattoo. I'll just be staring at that shit every single day. This thing is crooked <laughs> or whatever. Like, <laughs> No, nah, I can't do that. I'd go fucking crazy. I'm going to get some new ones. What you going to get? Uh, I'm going to get some of this new shit. I'm going to get some of this old shit redone. Really just the Wolverine holding a mic in his hand because... I remember I was saying... That's what that is? Yeah. Remember I was saying years ago on the pod, I was like, I regret all I these that was tattoos. His hands. Except for my never so deep one. Um, Because that's uh my, my man, Dr. Yeah, Robert yeah. Evans. And, and, and my man, Bless. You don't even know where it is. But, <laughs> no, it's right here. It's right you don't even know where his fucking tattoo is. All this other is, stuff right? don't mean nothing to me. But I realized no. why I got this Wolverine. I got this Wolverine when I was 17. And there's a uh, Wolverine holding a mic in his hand. Right. I was always attracted to Wolverine because of his healing power. Mm. That's literally what I loved about Wolverine. I'm like, yo, I love the fact he can heal from anything. Uh, now I'm 43 years old, and like that's what I've committed my life to, helping people heal as I heal. Yeah. And he's holding a mic in his hand. And I, at the time, I wanted to be a rapper, but clearly, microphones are motherfucking... It comes you know, full circle. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know, okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what you're... I don't know. Circle. I, exactly. I don't know what Taylor <laughs> Circle is like. <laughs> Taylor Circle is like a semicircle. It's like... <laughs> Rectangle. All right. Um, it comes full circle and it's a rectangle. <laughs> the hate. So, um, I don't know if y'all did this before already. Though. What? Um, Andres369 wants to know if they did a comedy versus or radio personality versus who would you go against? If they did a comedy versus a radio... Oh, first of all, ain't nobody fucking with me. Um, <laughs> but if they did a comedy versus a radio personality versus... Um, we got to go up against Howard, bro. That's really the only person. That ain't my that generation, you, you, though. That's true, and that's a problem. But yeah, you're, yeah, your generation, you there's really nobody. Yes. But you'd have to, generation. you'd have to go yeah, if me, there was yeah, like yeah. multi generation. You'd have to go up against Howard, bro. Oh no! If it was multi generational, um, I would, I would. I don't even know how you would do that, but I would test mine against Petey Green. Petey's the GOAT. I j- I'm just not familiar. Yeah, Petey's the GOAT. Yeah. How Petey influenced Howard? Petey, yeah. Petey Green is a great movie, kids. You can watch called Talk to Me. It stars Don Cheadle and Taraji P. Henson. Don Cheadle plays Petey Green. Fucking phenomenal, phenomenal movie. Yo, that'd be a really funny versus because it's, it's like, how do you, it's like, how do you break it up? Do you break it up in like different segments? Do you go like game versus game, interview versus interview, like rant versus rant? You know what I mean? Because like, yeah, I don't know. That's really interesting. It's star. Yeah, Petey was no joke, man. Petey was a beast, beast, beast. Yeah, I'm just not. I'm not as. I'm not as familiar. Yeah, me neither. With his, but like, if you break it up, <clears throat> he, listen. Don't get me wrong. Howard is fucking unbelievable. But like, depending on how you break it up, like Howard's not fucking with the donkey today, bro. Yeah. How Howard's just not fucking with the ranch. Howard's got great no, interviews, but you got Howard ranch the legendary. But he's not fucking with donkey today, bro. It's not weekly. Every or no, sorry, every single day a new thing. This written put out now his his antics with like the the quirky guests y'all don't do that as much no you don't how, even listen, have your how, cast of characters Howard is a listen Howard is a goat because Howard played in the time the structure is unbelievable when there was no rules yeah. uh, Howard ain't had to deal with this woke PC kid uh, woke uh, shit uh, Howard uh, uh, yeah Howard uh, uh, didn't uh, give uh, a yeah. flying fuck and he got to play in a time where you really didn't. You have to, to give a flying fuck. <laughs> I, I yeah. kind of got to play in that era, but not really. The end of it. The end of it, because I came up in South Carolina, so it was yeah. the Bible Belt. So I yeah. was getting fired for the shit I was doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I didn't really get to play play in that era like that. Even I, when think, I, I think you smoke Howard. I'm not going to lie. Nah, nah, nah. How's the goal? I know that you won't want to admit, but I think you, you smoke Howard. Nah, how's yeah, the goal? Don't get me goal. wrong. He's Howard is fucking unbelievable, but I think if you start putting it like up 
like face to face and you're going to have to go into your box of old shit that you've healed from or whatever. No, but I like, can't what? go there no more. Yeah. No, no, no. We're going to play it. <laughs> if we start playing some of those old things, bro, I, what was he going How would my be disgusted? So <laughs> even, how would my be like, my God, what the fuck? You was going <laughs> too far. Are you okay? <laughs> you need therapy. How, yes. How would my say you went too far? Nah, how was the goat? Yo, do you, do you think you know goat, how many um, goat, donkey goat. days you actually did? I, I mean, mean one one a day for almost twelve years. Son, I mean, just come on, bro. How was the goat? My Mount come Rushmore on, of radio personalities is Petey Green. That's crazy. Howard Stern. Twenty a month for Petey Green, years. Howard Stern, Wendy Williams, two hundred and um, forty a year. Angie Martinez, forty a year times twelve. What? If? That's my Mount Rushmore radio personalities. Because and that's that's just donkey of the day. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. What like you can, if you gotta pick like ten of those. What are you talking about? You Wait, make- sorry, we're having two different conversations. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> we were we were trying to Who's see- the comedy versus for you though? Comedy versus is tricky, man. Comedy versus is very, very tricky. First of all, you can't really do it. Like comics talk about doing it, but it's just not how it works. Comedy shouldn't be done in like a competitive way. You know, because like it forces you to like pander to the audience mm-hmm. instead of saying what you really feel and getting them on your board. I guess you could do a laugh meter. Yeah, like it would it would have to be like you play it back and forth, but things that have already happened and like we reminisce on those types of things. But um You know Ryan Davis put you on his Mount Rushmore. Ah fucks with Ryan. Yeah, he bro. did a he he was on Breakfast Club. He did I a, fucks with Ryan. He heavy, did an OG man. Mount Rushmore and he did a a new school Mount Rushmore. He put you I on his new school Mount Rushmore. It was you I think it was you, him, Jess Hilarious, and eighty five South Show. That's fire. And for his OG list it was uh Adam Sandler, Chris Rock, some more Adam Sandler, Chris Rock, some more, and Eddie Murphy. Yo, Sandler on there is interesting because he's obviously counting like movies. He that counted kind of everything, yeah. But if you count movies and all that stuff, and you don't put Adam on there, you just are completely out of your mind. What, what you think about Martin? You don't think Martin too? Uh, dude, Martin to me was king back in the day. Uh, yeah, I love. Up. I I watched Martin. Sure. I didn't watch Seinfeld, but that's more just that's what the kids <laughs> in my school were watching. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. I loved Martin. Like, yeah. and low key, like I mean, dude, Jamie Foxx show, like the way he carried that show, bro. Yeah. People sleep on Coming it. Living fucking, color. Jamie Foxx is by far. Yeah. It's one of the most talented, talented people too. ever to walk yes. the face of the earth. Yeah, 100%. It's like, what can he not do? Dude. I watched him yesterday on Byron Scott podcast, and he went into this impression of this original joke he did where he was like, um, I forgot, I, I'm, I'm going to fuck the joke up, but he was like, bro. white men, he was like, I was talking to the crowd, and I was like, white men heartbeat sound like this. And he was like, boom, 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 boom. And then he was like, but black men heartbeat sound like this. And he started like beatboxing some slow ass rhythm. And he was like, which way would you rather get fucked? <laughs> that shit was fire yeah, bro. I was yeah, like yo yeah. that dude is just he's just talent talented God gave him Raw everything talent man God gave him everything yeah yeah. God but, gave him everything but low key like in terms of like competition and that kind of stuff at least for me when I'm thinking about who I want to be better than I'm not thinking about the people within my generation that's no disrespect to them but like my goal is always to go after the, the bars break. yeah like Word the up. people the that set that up. you know so it's like I, I never even really think about it like because the way i'm looking in, at the people in my generation is i got to be influencing all these people like you know i got to be making the changes in the industry that these people are going to also do and take advantage of and thrive within that's right but i want to look at the fucking chappelle's i want to look right. at the rocks and patrice's that's like, right and like how do i become that that's to right my generation that's right people if, if if howard stern tells me i'm dope i'm dope yeah if Andrew martinez go. tells me i'm dope i'm dope yeah if big boy tells me i'm dope i'm dope yeah. Sway tells me I'm dope. I'm dope. Like yeah. those are the people right. who came before me who influenced me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If mm-hmm. Jesus tell me I'm dope, I'm dope. Facts though. That's it. <clears throat> would he though? After he spits in his <laughs> yeah. eye. Keep yeah. Would you let him? I think Jesus would tell me I'm dope. Yeah. That's why he still got me. What if Jesus asked to see the bottom of your feet? And <laughs> he already said he see he, he, he X-ray vision. No, he doesn't have any. He don't got the same eyes. This motherfucker think Jesus is Superman. Bro. <laughs> Me he don't have the same eyes as you. Got, you got the same Christ. eyes as Jesus? Say again. You got the same eyes as Jesus? No. Yes. Exactly. No, I don't know if I have the same oh, eyes no. as Jesus. He might Genesis have better eyes Genesis 1.26 says God created man. His image, image is according to uh, like I understand yeah. that. But listen, Jesus got a little bit more than we got. That's not true. But why X-ray? And also, X-ray wouldn't be able to see the bottom of your feet. It would just see through your feet. You wouldn't be able to see the bottom unless you're showing the bottom. If Jesus asked me, y'all not around, I'll do it. Why, if we're not around? Why you want to see my feet? 
What if he said, yo, put your feet That's together like freaky, this and bro. arch them? <laughs> no, what if he said, yeah. There's no way I'm just letting y'all, why y'all want to see bro. my feet, man? What? He wants to know what he made, bro. He got it. He already know. Would you let him touch it? <laughs> What if he's like, damn, why you look tired, bro? Let me just see your feet real quick. Dude, yeah. what if he was like, why are you, why is the bottom of your feet so white? I didn't mean to make it like that. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, Wax? This is crazy. Listen, all the TSA out there, next time you pat and whack down, pat, pat and whack down, just say, I'm Jesus. That's it. Let's see if he let you touch it. Yeah. Listen, I know how Jesus come. Jesus come in Whoa. mysterious ways. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All I wanted to do was touch the hem of his garment. Yeah. Wow, Wax. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Jesus not going to come that way. Hey, you yo. are a wild dude, my friend. Hey, you're. Oh, boy, man. Listen, man. Come on that on, note, <laughs> as always, if you listen to this podcast and you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. We love you, Jesus. And God. Oh.